Hey, hey. cousin you coming in early cousin not yet not yet <laughs> uh. I wasn't ready <laughs> Yo, yo, what's up, family? How are you? What's happening? Uh, counting down the days. Counting down the days. Yeah, that's right. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, oof, tired. The family it's hot is Yeah, she it is. She growing. What up, everybody? What up, everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a crazy topic today. It was something that everybody was requesting. Or wanted to get be a part of. So the, the topic for today is what's a good time frame to talk marriage in a relationship? All right. So this is this, this is this one of the ones. This is definitely one of the ones. I was about to say as soon as soon as listen. If you all up in my if you all up in my guts and you all up in my house all the time we living together we playing house you might as well what else we talking about. Let's stop playing these games. But what? But what if it's? Sometimes you gotta leave well enough alone. You know what I mean? Well, you can you elaborate on that? What you mean? I mean, listen. If everything is going good, exactly. you know, what's the what's the what's the pressure to try to change it? You know what I mean? By throwing the marriage thing in there. Sometimes that's a lot of pressure, and people start acting different. You get a whole other person after you put that label on some. So you know what I mean? Why not just keep it going good if that's what it's doing? Oh, hold on, first of all. So I'm putting pressure on you by putting a title on what we already doing? Yeah. That don't make no what's sense. The, what's the need for a title, it? though? But what's the need for a title? I mean, marriage, I mean, it depends on what y'all both, what y'all both want out of the situation. Like, if y'all both have a goal at the end of the day, to be married, but that conversation should be had well before y'all even got to the phase of y'all playing house and doing y'all already doing all the things that married people do. So I feel like why 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 play the game? I feel like sometimes that's the, that's when people try and mind fuck you and they try and play games. Like we already doing all these things, but because I put an actual name to it, it's going to change things. Then why are we doing it? Let's not do it. And that should be established early on, like when y'all first get together and y'all, you know, decide to be exclusive, like what y'all really want out of life and that long term goal. Because if it's not the same and it don't align, why are we why are we playing wasting each other's time? No, I respect that. How you how you feel about it, Sheree? And, and we, first we, of all, we want to do our opening in a second out. too. Leave well enough alone is a cop out. Because if we be well enough on that means we shouldn't be raw. You shouldn't be busting up in me. That's well enough for long. <laughs> right alone. Oh, that's just <laughs> I'm saying we gotta get this hot and heavy. Hold on, Zoom. Come here, Zoom. Come here. 
laying out in the grass. He's supposed to be coming in the house. No, I mean, I think, I mean, I think that really the conversation should be had early on. Come on, come on, come on. The 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 conversation should be had early on before y'all even get to that step of doing what y'all doing. No, I'm, especially I'm, if no. there's kids involved and stuff like mm-hmm. that. All you're doing is creating a ball of confusion early on that don't even need to be created. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean, whenever you're getting into, you know, a relationship, a serious relationship, you definitely want to communicate what your intentions are. Like, that used to be something I used to hear, like, you know what I mean, kind of like more traditional families. It would be like a mom or it would be a dad, and they will ask the guy, like, yo, what's your intentions with my daughter? You know what I mean? And it's ultimately just to figure out, like, you know, where is this going? Like, where do you intend for this to go? So, you know, some people, exactly. you know I mean? just being honest, they might not, you know, be interested in marriage, you know what I mean? And then at least you get that understanding up front and you're not, quote unquote, playing house, you know what I mean? And just in a situation where you're never going to, you know, like ultimately create a family. Well, not even create a family, but just like be married, you know what I mean? And that's and that's exactly what I mean. So like when people try to use the whole, oh, that's not... Oh, why are things first of all, nothing should be changing if y'all already doing this. So like I'm like I never understood that mm. when people are like, oh they changed. Well what changed? Yeah. Like priorities, like people don't take into account like say y'all might have been having sex like crazy. And then mm. y'all have a baby. Okay, well I don't think a lot of men realize how much goes into that part right there. And how that changes you as a person that you probably don't want that change. You probably mad that you can't have that same drive you had before. And mm-hmm. instead of like making this thing like it's a negative thing, like, oh well, she changed, she don't want to do this no more. Sometimes it may be out of her control. Yeah. And vice versa. Cause when y'all start getting older, y'all ain't y'all ain't popping like y'all think y'all are. I, I know y'all I, think y'all I don't, are. Don't, don't, y'all listen, really don't, not. don't come at me. Don't come I'm at me now. You. I said don't... guys in general. Okay, okay, y'all not okay. popping like y'all think y'all are. Okay. And so it's like, we ain't leaving you. We ain't trying to leave you because of that. We ain't complaining about you because that. We kind of like, you know, if it's you going. Uh-uh. You going here? Oh, she going out? Somebody probably calling. To bring uh, somebody probably calling. We can't hear you. She making some good points. You can tell too. Hold on, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Jabray. Oh, sorry. Somebody was trying to call my phone. Um, I said, like, you got to realize if you're trying to go the long haul with somebody, then y'all going to change, whether it's at the same time, separately, different phases of y'all life together. And so you got to take that into consideration when you, because you, like a man would get on a woman if, and I'm not saying women don't do this because women probably do do this, but if you came in and you had all this money and you was the breadwinner and if something happened and you lost that, right? Yeah. She would be wrong for wanting to leave you, right? I think so. Okay. But I, so. I've heard, hold up, but I've heard it being condoned because my sister, I don't know where she at, we're going to have to tag her. My sister <laughs> in her wedding vow said for richer or for richer. And the, and, the, and the pastor was like, uh, for richer, for poor. And she was like, <laughs> for richer or for richer till death do us part. So some of that be condoned, like, oh, if something go wrong, you know what I mean? I'm well, gonna, I mean, I'm she put that in her vows. I mean, he can't get mad at that. I'm just saying, like, she put it in her vows. You no, she didn't. It. it wasn't in the vows. He oh. Just, the, the, the pastor said for Look Richard, at you about to condone said, it, though. Richard, I wasn't going to condone Richard. it. I'm saying, like, if you know what you're going into, you getting mad about what you're going into. I thought that that was a part of the vows. No, no but he, I mean, said, he said for Richard or poor, and she just said for Richard, for Richard. Well, I mean, so that's the thing. People got to realize what their priorities are, and that goes for women and men, because, like I said, you could be making all the... That's why if you're marrying for money and money only, then make that your contractual agreement. And mm-hmm. that's it. Take love off the table. Take all the other nonsense off the table. It's only a business transaction for you. And that's what it is. Keep it real. 
But if you marrying someone for a long time commitment and companionship and, you know, money comes and goes because money ain't always going to be there. And so if that's the only foundation of your relationship, that's where that's that's a that's a y'all problem where y'all shouldn't even be coming into it because of that. But I feel like if a woman decided to leave a man because of that, she all these things. Right. However, it's condoned for a man. And that's and that's something that. You know, you can get back, right? You can get money back. You can try and find another way to make it. You can do all those things. Physical things, like, okay, your libido go out. You can't do nothing about that. That's not something that's in your control. Or a woman who, after they had a child or, you know, has some type of, you know, they don't have that same, they may want to, they may want to do all these different things or they physically can't. Those are things you can't change. But people leave people because of that. And it sounds so childish and like you know tr- like it's, it sounds childish because that means your mindset wasn't there in the first place because I know <laughs> when you get old your shit ain't gonna be popping when I get old mine might not be popping <laughs> so but are we together because of that because when you're when you 90 and your hip broke you and you got a <laughs> anyway like you sit down you're not doing all that anyway I'm gonna put you in a rocking chair it's, yeah, okay, you're gonna be rocking right now, like old person. It's like, you know, intimacy is like, you know, it's not just about the penetration, it should be about all the other things that come with intimacy. So if y'all build on that early on and know that I'm with this person because of who they are and what they bring to my life, you know, and not all the materialistic things because money is material. You know what I mean? People live in other parts of the country and money is not even a, as a thing. So that ain't even on the table when it comes to their marriage and stuff like that. So if y'all, if y'all, if y'all like, if y'all probably have a good man off. What'd you say? <laughs> Nima says shit. So well, she probably probably in a wheelchair all the time. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at that. I'm saying, but I'm just so, like, so, know. so, so. Let me ask this: When, when is a good time frame to basically talk about marriage? Because some people are in relationships for years and it it's n- never even really a conversation i mean me and jamal can't really relate to that because we didn't have we didn't even have seconds in the relationship so i just feel like i think the early is what better. you make it it's whatever yeah. you make it if you feel as though you see somebody and you love them scott you love What's them up? and it's unconditional i say go for what you know the earlier the better. Honestly, the earlier the better. Like if y'all doing things where y'all play, you're, okay, y'all move in together. I I think moving in together before marriage is fine because I need to know what I'm about to get into. But if y'all moving in together and y'all been together, I feel like it's a conversation. It doesn't mean that oh tomorrow we going down to the justice of the peace. It's a conversation so y'all both know where where we stand. Like do we have a a, a, a mutual goal we trying to go towards basically. What you guys say, Scott? I think that within the first two weeks. <laughs> Dang, you gotta meeting, do it. Meeting each other. <laughs> I, I mean, the first listen, two weeks of meeting each I'm other. I'm gonna say this: when I saw when I when I first saw y'all Jamal, was my role models. Y'all was my role models. Y'all listen. Can't... When I first met Jamal, he was an asshole, right? But. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me turn my camera on. Hold up, hold up. Damn. And the real Jamal came out. I was ready to get married at like two weeks. Boy, I was named tattoo. No, that was the fake Jamal. The real Jamal the asshole. <laughs> yeah, y'all Tauruses be y'all be fooling people. So Believe me, before, I know. Kind of- I got Three. one. Huh? What'd you say? He changed up before or after y'all consummated. Before <laughs> he said consummated. <laughs> before. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Ma. <laughs> Look, hold on, hold on. But this my this my thing though. So let me ask you something real quick though. Let's just say you you dating a guy, right? And and uh, he already was married before. You know what I mean? And y'all have a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? And because this is this is not common. You know what I'm saying? You have a great relationship, and everything is going beautifully. You know what I'm saying? But and and he fulfills the needs that you you have. And you, as a partner, fulfill the needs that he has. 
but it's just one thing that he just does not want to get married again because he was traumatized from marriage uh, from marriage in a prior relationship. You know what I mean? Would you allow that to, you know what I'm saying, to put a halt in your wonderful, you know what I'm saying, relationship if he was traumatized by a previous marriage and just decided that he did not want to get married again? Yes. Wow. And I'm going to tell you why. Not because of the fact that the thing is, if you, if I, I know me as a person, I mean, I have an example of marriage with my parents. And so I always, for a long time, I never wanted to get married. Not because I had a bad example, because I had a, I had a good example, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to get married because I didn't feel like people take it serious as it should be. People play around with it. They use it to, like for different reasons. And so I feel like if they, if you feel strong on your moral, like I waited to have a child until I got married. People are like, oh, y'all need to wait. Nah, okay, you don't need to wait. I want the foundation of a, I want the foundation first before the child. The child is a bonus. Mm -hmm. Because when the child leaves the house, it's just going to be us. And mm -hmm. so that was the most important thing for me. Not saying that me and Jordan went on the same, you know, we went on our own. We didn't get pregnant before that, but we had a rocky, you know, thing going with it. But that was our both mutual goal. But if he said that he never wanted, cause I've been in a situation where I had, I talked to somebody and they were cool, but it's just like, you're still traumatized by that past relationship. So that part right there, you need to address because Ooh. even if it's the fact that you don't want to get married, what you experienced with her shouldn't be my burden to bear. No right. more and should that, it I mean, be your same, burden to bear the on the same thing. thing with children. Yeah. Both that's sides. Like with children, like, some people, you know, had bad experiences because of due to their spouse or whatever, and they feel like they don't want no more kids. But you can't get in a relationship with somebody who doesn't have children and not be, and want to experience that type of moment. Like, you can't take that away from them. So I agree with Jabray. I wouldn't be with somebody who feel like they traumatized from being married, especially if, if I want to get married. Yeah, I or have children. Have like I think, or have children. I wouldn't yeah. want anything with them because now I have to take on your burden because of a past situation that you just need to deal with. Go talk to a counselor or something. And you the thing is, if you said burdens. you took on my uh, burdens, uh, no, I excuse uh, me. I said a person who said they didn't <laughs> want to do it, baby. You wanted more kids. Let's get that right. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, if they said they don't want no more kids, they don't want to you know, get married. No, no, no. I I'm, said, I'm what I stated <laughs> was, I stated that I wouldn't want to be with someone who said that they didn't want to do it again due to their traumas of their past relationships, whatever the situation is. And they tell me, they if you told me you didn't want to have no children, we would not be together. Okay. Point blank, period. Oh, okay. and, the, and the thing is, people always say, well, they could change their mind. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, if or about, but that don't. I mean, you can change your mind. We would still be However, together. Then your trying conversation to trap me. should be it. different. Excuse yeah, me. Exactly. People do use that to try and trap you, and then they uh -huh. get into about you knew what it was. You ain't get you trapped. I, ain't want. I said, Jamal, let's get married. He said, Okay. Damn. <laughs> right. Hey, Scott, you heard that? She asked me to get married. You heard that? She didn't tell you she was down on one knee and had a fruit loop. I was you know not I mean? down on one knee. She had a fruit loop. Here we go. <laughs> we was in the car coming from New York. I said, Jamal, let's get married. He said, okay. And then later they're going to turn around and say, oh, you got, you trapped me. Y'all, y'all Tauruses, y'all be on some old other. I'm, it's like the same person that I'm really I married. You know what I mean? I was young. I was all spunky. You know what I mean? Oh, she took that from me. You know what I mean? Don't take my Please. <laughs> okay, that part. I was a young tenderoni out here. I had no kids, no responsibilities. Why would I want to trap you? I'm the one exactly. trapped you. Why would I see somebody trying to trap y'all? Girl, I'll save you from the street. What? Y'all are sick of trapping you. Excuse me? I'll save you from these wild streets like, out here. I ain't need to trap nobody. Because they was, they, was they was on your heels. I saved you from these wild streets. Oh my God! Your you was about to be done. You was about to be. You was just. No, a, you I had just all, I had every, You I had was just a lurking. Yo, you, 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 you thought you did. Y'all swear y'all found somebody oh, like you were being for yourself. My best life. So my. So what you what you had said? You saved them all. Yeah, yeah. Well, he said I had lurking. No, I, I had lurking. Lurking and lurking. 
Three. Oh Three. Excuse me. I He's saved talking. him. I was, I was the best thing to happen to him. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. I took I him know. away from the darkness. Hey, I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to explain hey, to you. Hey, Scott, you breaking up. Help me out here, man. Help uh, me out. You breaking, breaking up. up. You breaking up a little bit, Scott. Oh, oh. Special needs. Damn. Special <laughs> needs over there. I can't even just deal with it. <laughs> My joint like Chad. When, like when you start talking shit on this live, your, your phone start acting up. Exactly. <laughs> your phone should have been with this. <laughs> Listen, we not going to be on here front and Jamal. We're going to tell it like it is and what it is, baby. I so said, let's get married. You got married. Okay? Everybody oh, come on. Stop out that. What I did. I just was being me. That's it. We all That's know three Jamal's weeks talking in. out the side of his face right now. Three here. weeks. Listen, three weeks. I, I felt, I felt, listen, I felt bad for it, y'all. You know what I mean? I said, you know what? Y'all. Let me oh take out the street. Her paws getting all Three dirty. Weeks. <laughs> let me, you know what I mean? Let me, let me, let me get it right. Bring it Three in weeks. and a, a nice, you know what I mean? Into my essence. You know what I'm saying? Into my world. Let me get it right because she out here and the streets is about here to be alive. I wasn't out here nothing. I was here. Go to cat. I had no. You kids. was out I there probably. No, I, had, I had my. I had a bowl of milk. You know what I mean? I had my own apartment. You was, <laughs> was a rescue out there in the streets. Okay. We did, like, come on. Okay. Okay. She had an injured paw. I had to put a popsicle on the stick. You know After what I mean? marriage, what right? should the pillars of relationships be, though? Sometimes that do be a blessing, though, man. He took you out the game early, Sheree. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. sweetheart. No, sweetheart. He ain't taking no, you out the game. No, I'm trying to tell you. Listen. Yeah. Let yeah. my man Scott speak. Okay. Let my man Scott No, what I'm saying is, Scott. like, you already know. Scott, don't what what age y'all got married at? I was 26, 26 and he yeah. was 28. And you 20 what? I mean, you 30 what now? I, I'm 39 and he 41. He asked you my age. All right, yes, so he did. You so that's probably, <laughs> like, that's probably like 26 to 28 niggas that he stopped me from dealing with. You know what I'm saying? All the oh, 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 You low knowledge now. Low knowledge. Trying to tell you, you savage, you beloved. Oh, my God. You low knowledge now. Talk about you know you garage garage I'm trying to tell you. You didn't save anything. I saved him. Do not cap him up. Relax, Sheree. Relax. Jamal was about to get married to... The worst thing that ever happened to his life. Okay, he mm. was that's, before me. That's he was about to. He that's was false. about to marry, marry, marry the worst. That's his false. life would have been miserable if it wasn't for me. That's false. Damn, that, mm. was, that was a dumb deal. No, I think I think you probably helped him out, Sheree. You definitely helped him out, but he definitely Period. he saved you though. He didn't save anything. He helped you. He you helped him. He saved you. Oh, so, listen, Scott. I had That's a no fact, children. Scott. That's a fact. What's the real I stuff? I had my own she don't even under, She don't, she don't understand career. the stuff they're going through out here. I had all of these things. I was you know good. I, mean? I was you know, good. She, it's a lot, it's a lot of mess. That's, that's good. And that's what caliber of men was you dealing with, Sheree? Listen, she, she don't, under, what she don't understand what they're going through now. I had people with good jobs and everything, honey. Ooh. Honey. Yeah, Sheree. Listen, Teresa, I hate David Jeff. You hear me? They had, they might have had six figures, but they ain't had nothing to do with you. He just said, "What type of man?" See what I'm saying? Now he yeah, getting all crazy. Put your, put your, They don't have nothing to do with it. He asked the question. I answered. Oh, I thought you said it. six figures. I'm no like, come on now. I wasn't doing no. No, 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 no. no. You a quality person? You a okay, quality person? So don't, don't, don't get all defensive now. Calm down, relax. No, I just want to stir the pot a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course that's you what, did. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it was Sheree. Thank you. I would like give the credit when the credit is due. I came up. He with know was you. He know he was you. Know. He was fucking out the side of his Jamal team. was out here trying to be macaroni Tony. And hey, you know what macaroni Tony is, right? I heard he was raw dog Jamal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That's what I heard. Oh, that was word on the street. Oh, here we go, man. I, I came to save him. <laughs> okay. Y'all guys crack me up talking about somebody's mileage. 
Y'all miles is over 150,000 miles. Yeah. Y'all okay. be, y'all need miles. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem, though. That is a problem if y'all make it seem like y'all, y'all, y'all mileage is better than ours. No, it is. How? We meant to We're carry weight. Men are meant to carry weight. No, they not. What? Yeah. Men are meant to carry weight. Carry weight. Y'all can't. Y'all can't. Well, since you got to do a little better picking. You no, pick not that. I said half of the men can't carry weight. I ain't talking about me. That don't have nothing to do with me. But I feel right. like it shouldn't be a double standard. Mileage is mileage. If y'all going to talk about mileage, talk about your own mileage. No, I don't mm -hmm. think Because half of y'all be out yeah. there really sluts. And y'all don't even be one to fight. So you, you, want, you want an inexperienced man? There doing. you go. Do you want an inexperienced woman? How you want a version of what she a freak? Ain't make it make sense, buddy. <laughs> Not a version. You can mold them a little bit, though. No. But y'all want a freak. Y'all want a whole freak, but y'all want her to have low body count. I want a tweener. I want somebody. <laughs> a tween, yeah, a tweener. Oh, man. wait. After the one day, after one year, or after 10 years, it's all the same. All you have to do is be committed to each other. Yes, you do. And that's a fact. Mm -mm. I agree with that. I agree with that. Did you see after the marriage? After marriage, what should the pillars of release should be though? Did I see that? Did yeah, I actually, oh, yeah, I, 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 I that. read that earlier. Kenny, what's up, Kenny? What what, what it was about? He said, "What should the pillars of marriage be after marriage. after marriage? What should the pillars of the relationship be though?" I've been married in my head like three times. I'm like, answer that. <laughs> oh wow! So, <laughs> so, so what should? <laughs> uh huh? Come on, come on. Come on what, 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 what do you think it should be, Scott? Trust, communication, manipulation. <laughs> no manipulation. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one more. Grace, patience. No, you definitely need patience, though. You need patience. You need yeah. grace for each other and yourself. Communication, patience. Definitely need teamwork. Trust, teamwork, definitely, for sure. And, and I think, and, think I, and I think y'all gotta uh, keep some a lot of y'all business to yourself, like you yeah, man. Yes. No, that's 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 I think that's neutral that. people, honestly, like neutral people or like older successful couples. That's not like bitter, like you know I mean, like happy older couples. Yeah. But I, not an older couple like the niggas they've been in together since like sixteen and nigga ain't never cheated nothing like that. Like you yeah. Mean, like you gotta have been through a little bit of drama. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, why you still had a good guy? <laughs> <laughs> no. They be simps. They be weak. They be weak old heads. No. There's no such thing as a simp. Because you got a bunch of fuckboys out here and they get more the than You can't be like that from the I rip. hate that word simp. They it's said love, crazy. communication, great, great patience, patience and respect. And respect. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Listen. So, so, so look. So you said. <clears throat> All right, I just want to get this straight. And I, to me, you know I mean, I, I think that, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, if you already got something good with somebody, if for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying, they have a phobia about something, they have a trauma behind something, you got to you gotta allow them time to come around. You can rush everybody's process. Back to what, I, you know, what we were saying earlier in terms of if you had a partner, y'all doing good, you know what I'm saying, everything is going well, but they might have had a prior experience that made them not want to remarry, you know what I mean? I think it's it's not even fair to that person if you're already enjoying each other's company and companionship, but that person, you know what I mean, doesn't want to get married for you to try to rush that process. Like, So I when is a good time, that. though, if, if that's the case? Even if that was the case in a relationship, how long do you think a person's supposed to sit around and wait? No, no, no. Sit around and wait. Get, not, but hold on, hold on. Are you waiting get, on a label or are you waiting on great companionship if you're already getting great companionship then why are you worried about a label but you're not getting great it's not just about a label. you're not yeah, getting great companionship if his blockage is not in align with yours if y'all not aligned on the same thing as what y'all want you're not getting great companionship because someone's going to be suffering while the other person is yeah. so it, it's, i don't think it should only... be that you should be waiting I think what yeah. you should be if doing you is focus, you need to get your shit together. On, if we only focus on your feelings, what about mine or how I feel? Exactly. That's a one-sided relationship. Thing, right? But no, it's yeah, not a right? one-sided so relationship. Can't be one -sided. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the this is, this is, this is thing that, that, that's an issue. It's like sometimes you got to understand when you're already winning. If you're in a situation with somebody, with a companion, with a boyfriend or, you know what I mean, a male friend or whatever the, the situation is, if you're getting the companionship that you need, why would you bypass and say, you know what? I'll take no companionship if I can't have the companionship plus this label that I want. 
Like, why isn't it not satisfying enough to already have the campaign? It will be it will be satisfying if that was satisfying like y'all be blocking y'all blessings. People no, 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 no. See, the problem is what you're looking at there. That's where it's if he's not on that right now, give him time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If he's not on that right now, give him time. You're and blocking your blessings because you're trying to rush somebody into something no, it's not that they might not be ready rush. for. It's not about, that's not that's not a I, rush. That's not a rush. But see, this is the thing. How long do you like, give him, Sheree? How long do you give him, Sheree? From the first couple of weeks, if you know he just got out of a situation with divorce, how long do you give him to get it before for the you first couple of weeks, Joe? We, for the first got, couple of weeks, no, we not. So I'm saying, what you, are you talking about? I think the no. thing is, if you see progress and you see that, you know what? And he's saying, like, you know, I have been traumatized. I need if he's transparent with you from the jump and he's saying like I've been traumatized this isn't something that I want right now or I don't think it's something I can see myself doing then if you decide to stay knowing that's not what you want that is y'all problem and that's I mean mm -hmm. that's your problem and that's your fault the problem is that Jamal was saying label marriage is, should not be a label it ain't Gucci it ain't Fendi it ain't Prada it ain't Balenciaga it's not a label it's supposed to be a commitment and a foundation and that's mm. where the problem is and people get it mixed up. Because if you're just looking at it as a label, then you could go out and buy that. But if you're uh, looking for the actual whole thing as a foundation, then no, you shouldn't. So I don't think there's really a time frame that you're going to be waiting anyway. Because if he's telling you from the jump this way, he, he does not want, and you know wholeheartedly that's where you want, how y'all get to the point where you blocking the blessing? No, because what I'm saying is still a relationship, right? If I how get... how you getting that far? If you if you know y'all y'all not aligned with what y'all both want, how you letting it go that far? Because that that's... That you're not listening to what he's telling you, and you're thinking that okay, I see his potential, or maybe I could change his mind. When you really should be listening to what he's saying, I'm not ready, and so that doesn't mean that I keep you at arm's distance. So what I'm saying it doesn't you... mean that we don't get to know each other. It just means that I'm not going to commit myself deep into this, knowing that you don't want the same thing I want. What I'm saying is, when you meet a man in your first couple conversations, he's done. If he be like, he just came out of a relationship, he don't really worry about getting married right now. He's he cooked. He's done. Then we're done. No, I mean, I, I, it depends. Not done where, like that, but why develop something feelings if you know you don't want it? Out of something. Huh? No, it I'm just, talking about like, if you know you don't want it. Not the man. I'm talking about the woman. Because you like you know, see, that's the thing. It can't be a one sided situation. It can't be. Oh well. This is my feeling. That's where the communication do come in at. So if he's saying, you know, I was traumatized, so I'm not really ready to either be in a committed relationship or talk about marriage or any of those things, then there's no need for y'all to continue anything. Because exactly. if the woman is if the woman's mindset is to be either in a relationship or something in a higher level of a relationship, because then she you wasting each other's time. Exactly. From the so you wasting her time. You wasting her, she wasting your time. Well, you saying from the rip? From, from the, the rip. rip. It's the first couple of weeks, and that's what we all talking yeah. about. A couple of weeks. How y'all invested that much? That ain't that. First of all, calm down. No, it's I not. Even know each other. Let's say I like you. You like me. We talking. We dating. We going. Hey, we, we had a conversation. And he was like, "Listen, sister. Right now, I'm not ready to get married. But I'm not saying I'm never gonna get married. I'm just fucked up. Excuse me, messed up on what just happened to me." But then we need right. to see that you're progressing, that you're trying to work on those things. And it comes vice versa. That's like me coming to a trauma and Yo, saying, like, you know what, I was screwed up by so many men. I don't know if I can trust men. So, and I'm having a hard time trusting men. That's my job to make sure I'm healed. People don't be healing themselves before yeah, they yeah, she's, and, I'm a, said, and I'm a culprit of that. said, then get yourself together, then date. Exactly. And that's true. Like, you got to get yourself together. You can't be out here trying to uh just mess with whoever or whatever and not care about how they feel what they want in a relationship or whatever and just think like somebody only supposed to just respect how you feel or what you want it's not it's both ways and if that if that's what you want you don't want to get married or you don't want a relationship and that's the conversation that y'all have it's her choice to deal with it or not she but if she's gonna deal with it she can't be sitting here yeah now she can't be pressuring you or putting that burden on you if exactly. you already, if y'all had that conversation and she decided to move forward with you, then it is what it is. She just has to be patient in the situation, hoping for the best that things will change. But if she say, I ain't with it, I don't got time for that, this is what I want, then it is what it is. You got to accept it for what it is and not take it like, 
Well, I'm saying what I how I feel. Listen, it's not. So who's thinking like that now? This time of age, like a you, lot of people. A, a lot, lot of people, people who choose First mental time, peace. Sorry, no, not right now. Since I went through something. Oh no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm out. A lot of people who choosing mental yeah, peace over trauma. Yeah. A lot of people choosing to be single over dealing with nonsense like that because they already been through it. What is nonsense yeah. like that though? People? Nonsense meaning like one, you got two different situations. You either got the guy told you up front you didn't want to listen and you want, thought you could change him. <laughs> That's Rebound your fault. Like Charles Barkley. That's your fault. <laughs> Or you got a guy not not really understanding or knowing what he really want, and because he like you, y'all mm -hmm. like each other. He think okay, well, I mean, he not really like he's still knowing that you want this, but and he don't want this, and he's still staying with you. Because the thing is, this it's your responsibility if he's telling you from the rip that that's not what he wants, whether mm -hmm. it's right now or ever. Oh, you, and it's also his responsibility knowing that I know I can't give her what she want. Let me stop playing. Like, it's both of y'all respond. That's maturity. Mm -hmm. That's called being a damn adult. But we don't yeah, care about that. If I see potential in you, why couldn't we date? I don't understand. What it. potential you see in me if you can't see me as a, if you still traumatized by old shit? I don't understand it. If I, somebody, if something happened to me, right? Something happened to me, but I'm interested in, in, a, in a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't, like, like, like Cherie, Cherie Hill Jamal, why can't, you know? <laughs> <laughs> don't get him going, please. <laughs> Why you do that? Right. Well, life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow, what's it wrong with you? Feel better. <laughs> no, see, I, I think that's kind of, I don't know. I, I don't, you saying from the, that first conversation, I see if you talking about like kids, stuff like that, when niggas say he's never going to get married again. But if he's saying, you know what, just give him some time within the first couple of dates, you won't see that. And then like, what other things do he bring to the table? You just talking about marriage. Like, I agree with Jamal. No, it don't have no, to no, see, that's be the, marriage though, Scott, because what if it's just that the guy don't really want to be in a serious relationship, period. Or the woman, vice versa. That's the same thing with kids, though. That's if you telling me you don't want no kids, at this point, I'm lost. It's done. We don't have anything else got... We, we don't have anything I else to continue with. It's nothing to talk about. The relationship is over at that point. Like, unless now, if, we, if you want to just be fuck buddies, that's my choice to want to be just be a fuck think buddy. Unless you change me. No, that's the problem. What? People be trying to change people, <laughs> and you need to look at when somebody show you who they are, believe them. Okay, stop All trying right, to change people. And, that's, that, and that says, goes both ways. How important is marriage? Because some folks get married just to be to be married, that's and some folks stay alive. married just because. Yeah. That's a part of that conversation yeah. that you should be having. What are we both? What do we both view marriage as? Are we aligned in what we both view marriage as? And that this stuff should come out. In the first couple of weeks, the first couple of weeks, y'all not that serious anyway. So I don't have that much invested into you. So I ain't gonna be butt hurt if I have to decide. You know what? I hear you, brother. You said you wanna you you just need to heal, and I respect that. Go heal. Mm -hmm. We can still be friends. We can still be cool. But I'm not gonna invest my heart in there, knowing that you could come out the end of it and really still not wanting that, or you can. But the mm -hmm. thing is, if you truly, if you saw so much in me in a couple of weeks that you want to go ahead. Over hills, I feel like that's not even realistic anyway, because people show you they representative in the first couple of weeks. They don't show you who they really are. Months and months. <laughs> or months and months, they show you they representative. You know, they ain't showing you the truth. Like, you know, do for representative. Little front. But, but this, this is the only concern. <laughs> like, Your phone like, breaking up, Jamal. Because you about to start talking some bullshit. Okay, that's that's why. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Your lies start aching up when you act so crazy. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, good. No, you're not. You're terrible, bro. Yeah, it's bad, Jamal. Go realign yourself with some another place in the room. <laughs> realign is, 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 is alignment is the word. When you about to talk nonsense, the lies start aching up. <laughs> Don't play that. No, but realistically, like yeah. if you meet somebody in the first couple of weeks, I feel like this. Yes, y'all gonna like each other, but everybody like each other in the first couple of weeks. And then when the real stuff come out and the deep stuff come out, that's when you start to see what people's moral values are, what they their more accomplices, what they want out of life, and see if it aligns with with you. And if it doesn't, oh, make too much money at Boost Mobile. Get... <laughs> he don't got Boost Mobile, okay? <sighs> but no, seriously, I feel like that's why you need to have that conversation early on. And y'all should be respectful of, you know, the guy be like, oh, you can't wait for me. Why am I waiting for you? What am I waiting for? Get a boost mobile. To be disappointed? 
So what if what if why y'all keep saying a guy? What if the woman won't be in a series? What if she? No, I mean I'm just saying because you said you use the example. I think it goes both ways. I don't. I'm not biased you use on men. female versus. Y'all yeah, always try to use men. You know we got the most to lose in the marriage. You know what I'm saying? That, excuse yeah. me. Do y'all? Yes. What y'all got? What, what you I'm got for the most to lose? What you got to lose? How much? What? What? So you tell me I'm working all this time. I can I can meet somebody. She just you mean got a little couple things going on. Next thing you know, we get married. I lose everything. That's I not lose true. everything. We I, lose I've everything. heard of women. I heard of women we. losing everything. Y'all just ridiculous. Yeah, y'all don't make any argument just to go in the. No, I mean, I seriously, I have heard of women. That is ridiculous. Who that is got divorced. Ridiculous. She got I, the worst never, them him. That is very husband. rare. Who, Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige? No, I'm talking about real people. I'm not even talking about no, I know, but that's I'm rare. talking about real people. That's it's not rare. rare. It's not. How you going to say it's rare? You only know a small it's percentage rare. of the population. How you, much you, than you know just as much the population as I do. That's why I said so it's not make, as rare as that make your reality even more than mine? It's rare. I'm not saying it's more reality, over, but over it's history, not that rare. Over the history of, of alimony, it's rare. Uh, that's what All I'm right, talking about. All right, I want you to look these facts up. They said there I ain't no look no facts up. That's a fact. It ain't no need to talk I lost eighty percent of mine. That's real. You know it is. I, mean, I feel like it of depends of on the situation because you like you say, y'all always a lot. A lot of women are making more money. What you say, Scott? Right? right? Women usually want to leave. Y'all want to break everything up. Usually, we no, want to. And why? No, no. But why? If that's your point, why? Because y'all don't be happy. Why? What? Why? Why don't we be happy? Because we what? Sick. S I C K. Bullshit. That's what we're sick of. Sick. No, no, it's called fed up. Yeah, you tired. You've been, you been patient. You've been giving people time and time and time and time. We just kind of sick ups. We sick of motherfucking you, you, the bullshit food you feed us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make some food that you like. Cheese Learn how to cook. Huh? Close mouths don't get fed. You don't we like it? Don't I know what y'all want to eat? Y'all don't know what, what? y'all want to eat. What she talking about? I'm just talking shit. Listen, <laughs> I, listen I, I was watching this show on, on the own channel, right? It's a, it's one of them couples reality shows, right? Black Love. And the couple was, no, not that one. It was the, um, dang, I forgot. Anyway, so basically they, was, they asked their mates, you know, how often, you know, should they have sex or whatever like that, right? <laughs> so, so the the man was the men was like you know i want to have sex every single day right so the white the wives was like okay everybody agree like okay you know what i mean i understand that cool now you're talking about women don't women are never happy or never satisfied but then one of the men will say well i want to have sex two times a day nigga i but already agree to have sex every single day. Now you talking about world. twice a day. It's like, come on, be like, men don't know what they want. First of all, y'all act like y'all able to have sex every day when y'all know y'all ain't got that kind of energy for real. That's the thing. That's Nobody has that kind of Be realistic. It's called let's be realistic. What's our priority? But that's you one of the have kids. Right, you pick and choose. Are we both working? Twice a day, you be like, all right, cool. Nigga gonna go right to sleep. Exactly. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna right, fight no today. Was, it it matters. Why, why are you gonna fight with that man about that? Listen, you know Herbert going to leave. Because Herbert's this is why they complain and want to leave, though. That's the thing. Men you. say these things and they want to leave. Oh, you ain't give me nothing twice a day. So I need to leave and go cheat. Like, get the fuck out yeah. of here. You can't even do it yourself. You tired. You sleep. <laughs> Let's keep priorities in mind. Like, okay. And don't try to get one off during the day and then think you're gonna come back in the evening. You ain't got it. You don't. Damn. You already Just give me thirty shot. minutes. Oh, he must have him, Tell him, Tell him, He must have thirty minutes. Tell him, 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 Think about, and then you gotta you got to life. Sleep. You got life. Let's be, y'all, the realistic, y'all so irrational, and it don't even be realistic goals. You like, say really? women between 38 and 44 want to hump 10 times a week. Sure do, <laughs> but we can't because we ain't got somebody who, you know, could keep up. And two people are thinking marriage shouldn't allow the idea of divorce. Your, your behavior is different if y'all allow divorce ever to enter. Yeah, true. 
Say that again. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. Your behavior is different if y'all don't allow divorce ever to enter the equation. So what, 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 what do that mean? If two if people, two, if two people are thinking marriage both should allow the idea of divorce. Shouldn't allow the idea. Shouldn't of allow the idea. Shouldn't. Your behavior is different if you haven't, if you don't this allow. Oh, period. Yeah. Yeah, y'all see it? That thing blowing too. It? Get y'all one. I'm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> don't be like that. Smoke break. Yeah, if you talk like, I mean, I agree with that. If you're bringing divorce in the conversation, that's a, that. Why are we talking about divorce and we like, like end up in the thing is if you talking about divorce, be ready to really do it because let's stop. Let's not throw it out there like it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a casual word. A, yeah, well, like because I mean, if somebody call you bluff, and then you're reality, gonna be like, oh, well, think only you know, that you'll you will work it out. Reality, think that you're only going to work it out. Yeah. That's just that's, that's what y'all should be going into it. Problem solving, y'all that's team. Like a lot it's of all about problem said, solving. It sound good, but like human nature is going to, you know, what I'm saying you want to test each other. So it, it sounds good to say don't put divorce in the equation. This and the third, but in all reality, if you, you know, what I'm saying going at it, <laughs> red spouse, flag. You know, what I mean, if you going at it with your spouse, it's gonna be times where that shit is gonna be put up on the table because you know, what I mean, you challenging each other. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? It's, it's about your actions. It's about working towards, you know what I'm saying, what you ultimately But But that, that, that's true, want. though, because you know I mean? that, that, that's the it's, problem. That's just life. That's what it is. That you're saying, so even though you're human, but us as human beings, we have to learn how to control our words and the things that we say. Because you can say, I, you know, I want a divorce. I want this. I want that. But deep down inside, you truly don't mean that. So we as people need to stop saying those type of words to really mm -hmm. hurt somebody that we truly, you know, love and care about whatever you mad about. Like the hitting the below the belt is not cool because it builds up a wall between the relationship. Yep. It so builds I, a wall. And half the time, the stuff y'all arguing about is so trivial, and it ain't even real yeah. shit. That is like <laughs> when real stuff actually happens, you uh -huh. gotta think about real things and the scale of what's important. Yeah, words have what's definitely, words definitely have power. That's you know when you talking to somebody and saying certain things that's below the belt that builds a wall between your relationship, and that just make people second guess you know, who they would or be self-conscious or a lot of different things that make you not want to be intimate, may you not make you not attracted to that person and everything else like that. So it's like, you got to be mindful of the things that you say. I mean, you, I, I agree with that, but I'm just saying like, when you get, uh, you know, the, the one thing is this too, like, I think we, we're, we're looking at marriage, you know what I'm saying? And we're not understanding, you know, we don't even have, like say for instance, your brain and your, and your situation you have, you know, parents that were married. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of us don't even have examples of what marriage looks like. So for me, when I'm saying earlier, like, don't rush this man's, you know what I'm saying, time frame. Don't rush his growth because, you know, sometimes women, you want marriage. You want a wedding. You want your day. You want that ring. You want to be able to say, I have a husband. But a man might have really been through the trenches in a, a real marriage and Anybody that's married knows that shit is hell. If you can last long enough, you know what I mean, to speak on it, you have experience with it. And some people don't want to go back down that road, especially with somebody that they may not feel like is ready for it. Sometimes guys don't want to get married because they don't feel like you're ready for it. Or they might not, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, time. I think that's respectable. I think that's, you know what I mean? think like, that's what the issue no, is. Huh? Now, you said it's hell. God damn. No, it, no it's, it's when y'all going through hell, hell. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. So you think going the, through this is the process of marriage, or just like what? Yeah, when y'all so, going through rough so times? The, what happens is, yeah, what happens is when you're in marriage, you get pushed to your to the brink of your your loyalty. You get pushed to the brink of you know what I'm saying your commitment. You continue to get pushed to the brink of these things, and it's tough. It's a challenge, and you have to fight through that. So it sounds great, it sounds beautiful, and it is beautiful, and it is great, but it's the other side. And you got to be tough. You got to be thick skinned for this shit. You can't be no light in the ass. You just want, you know what I mean? Nice little candles and everything and flowers for the wedding, John. So sometimes as, as a man, you may look at your, at, at your partner that you're looking at. You may love her to death and may not feel like she's quite ready at that time. It might not just be for him. He may have been through hell and he's looking at, at his partner and saying, you know what? 
she 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 definitely has potential. She's definitely in that direction, but we're not ready yet. It's things that we as a a a, a unit need to tighten down on. So you can't always just try, and now you're looking at that man and 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 and, and you're saying, you know what? Well, if you don't want to commit to me, then you know I'm moving on to the second and third. But the reality of it is, he may be the best person for you because he may see something in you that you don't even see that he's been through. He may see something that you can learn from or that is going to take time to manifest that he's not ready for y'all to, to bring that bond because it takes a lot of maturity. It takes a hell of a lot of maturity. It, it takes you to be able to be thick skinned enough to get broken down because when, now here's the thing when we say change in marriage, it, the, the change in marriage happens because you really are breaking down the person who you used to be. I had to break down a lot of things about myself that I used to be. And the same thing with Sheree. So when you when you are going through a transition, it's like a caterpillar, you know what I mean? That that stage before you get to a butterfly is the is the roughest and most closest stages of death that you come to. You know what I mean? So a lot of people don't understand it is it, it, it's rigid and it's rugged, and you have to be patient. And if you really love that person, love is is patient. Y'all get y'all reading books, y'all looking at Tyler Perry, y'all looking at Steve Harvey. And y'all putting time frames uh -huh. on, 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 no, 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 on no. life. Stop it. Preach, you brother. All Preach. Like, you putting time frames on no, life. He is not you preaching. You putting time frames on life no. when life is infinite. Life is abundant. Life is 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 all is constantly changing and creating. And you're trying to put a clock to you know what I mean something that y'all have that could be forever infinite. So y'all gotta slow down with that. And you gotta a lot of times you really have to go with the flow. We got married. It wasn't on no tip where it was a clock. It wasn't no thing like that. We just went with the flow. And at that time, we went with what felt natural. You know what I mean? But you if she, that if she would have said, let's get okay. married, and I didn't feel it, then we wouldn't have got married. <laughs> or if I would have proposed to her and she wasn't feeling it, then she would have she would have resisted it. You know what I mean? So we, we got it. That's why I said be careful with that. And when I say label, I'm not talking about Louis Gucci Prada. But what I'm saying is that, like, have you built the infrastructure of okay. your relationship? Have you that part the right there. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You have to do that before you get married. This is not back but in the day. But that's what I'm that's what I'm saying, Jamal. It's so like you, I think, we, I think you're talking you talking about two no different things though. That's I think you're talking about two different things, Jamal. I think you have and I, all your points are very valid. I think you were talking about two different things. Okay. I think we're talking about the original question is when's the time frame to talk about marriage? That should okay. be early on when y'all establish y'all want to be exclusive. Okay. And just and to talk about it doesn't mean we're trying to get married tomorrow. It's just mm -hmm. what is your mindset? What's my mindset on it? So we know if we on we on two different playing fields, then let's let's not do this with each other. So I don't think there's anything wrong for a man or a woman to say, you know what, you don't want what I want right now, and that doesn't make you a bad person. But I don't want to get trapped up into this. Also, if y'all decide that y'all want to be together and you do have a man who doesn't think his girl is or vice versa, that's why y'all should go to premarital counseling anyway, because that's how a lot of shit comes out. That's how y'all find out a lot of stuff that y'all may not know that y'all needed to talk mm -hmm. about or that you could talk about. Well, no, so so <laughs> it's just a conversation just in general. Like, when should you have the conversation? And it's like, it should be an early on conversation because again, it falls in the line of children. When you talking to somebody, like y'all should really have one of those real serious conversations be so you get an understanding where that person is mentally. You because if they're month, not in first, huh? first month, first two months, what? I mean, it could I just mean, be it, it's not really no time frame, but it shouldn't be you shouldn't get ways deep into the relationship where it gets to the point where you let's say a, a, to a year or so is in y'all a year or so in two years and now y'all never really had a conversation about what y'all wanted period and y'all want a relationship you don't want a relationship we you know y'all just want to be fuck buddies um you know i just want you to be my baby mom i don't know nobody's having no conversations at all whatsoever so everybody in the relationship is making assumptions they're assuming that they love each other they're assuming that they're going to get married i'm not saying man or woman it's assumptions with everything everything is assumption because nobody yeah. never really had a full conversation effectively it never was a conversation at all about nothing y'all just fucking so you said so you it's, 
it should be happening early on. If y'all establish early some specificity, if y'all's gonna be exclusive with each other, then had a conversation. Matter of fact, we what you want out of this? What we what we here for? We here to date. You looking for a friend with Benny's? Like let's yeah. t- let's put that. On. And, let's and, not that's, and that's the reason why a lot of guys waste my be time or your time the way they have kids because they're not fully having a conversation about okay, I'm just. You know, have I just want a relationship? I just want this. I just want that. And then you get caught up and have a kid because the girl, in her mind, oh, this is my baby daddy. We together. So can and I? And as soon as she get, as soon as she get pregnant, and you know, when the baby come or it's a process of the baby, now y'all arguing, y'all fighting, y'all not working. By the time the baby get here, child, you done moved out. She living on her own. Now now y'all can't even co parent. Y'all don't even get along. You hate her. And you know where you know where the divide where it started the whole extra question. Sure. So y'all married. Y'all y- she, you married, sweetheart? Yep. Yes, my cousin's married. All right. So I'm serious question, right? When y'all married and y'all mad at each other, what is period? Y'all relationship, y'all mad at each other. How does that work? Do y'all not like don't go to go to bed mad at each other? Or do y'all give it like a day and then talk about it the next day? How do how do y'all communicate? When y'all it depends do? on what we arguing about, and it depends on the maturity of the person you married with. Um, I happen to, I mean, it de- it depends on what y'all what y'all arguing about and what y'all mad about. Me, I never like to. I like I've always liked to discuss the conversation. Let's talk about it and move on from it. I had to learn that my husband. It doesn't process it in that way. Sometimes he gets mad. He needs time to cool off and then come back and talk about it. But I had to learn that with trials and tribulations. However, I also had a lot of different things that I didn't realize I was going through in a traumatizing way early on in our relationship to where if I wish I did, I probably wouldn't have done a lot of things or acted or or uh, responded or reacted in different ways that I actually did. But it's kind of like, you know, you learn those things and then we went through couples counseling, pre premarital counseling and stuff like that. And, you know, that's what got us to the point to engagement and stuff like that. And, you know, I feel like you should still, even while you're married, continue to go to th- do things like that because it's always things you go through in different phases of your marriage. And it's a healthy thing. And so if you early on know that <laughs> you have trauma coming into something, you should be addressing that. You should be addressing it. Y'all both should be addressing it. And if you want to give each other that grace and time to say, you know, I'll wait for you to address it, then so be it. But a lot of people out here have been dealing with a whole lot of stuff where you don't have that mature person that's going to tell you that they got stuff they're dealing with. They just play games. And that's not just on men. It's on men and women. I'm not going to put it on one side of the table because it's not true. But if y'all know, if you you know that you've been traumatized and you've been through stuff, you need to go through counseling. Even if you think you got it all together. And I'm speaking from someone who thought that they had it all together. And I was good. But I realized, I found out I was not good. But I, I had to go through a trauma to realize I wasn't good. And that's a hard pill to swallow when you realize you actually got some shit going on that you don't even realize you're doing this stuff and why you're reacting the way you're reacting. And, you know, it was my husband who told me, like, you got anxiety. And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm like, because I always look at anxiety as a negative thing. And, you know, you know, after, like, because I broke my leg in 2018. After that trauma of that, I went through a lot of things that I didn't even realize was a thing. And so, you know, he had to tell me that. He's like, you need to go see somebody about it. And after I came off the defense mode of saying, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm this. I'm good. I'm that. You know, I was like, okay, maybe I do need to see somebody about it. Because you got to be real with yourself about what's really going on with you. And even though I went to get therapy with my own trauma, I realized that there was stuff with him that you know also like it's a mutual thing so it's kind of like once you can't be the only person in the house healing or trying to Mm -hmm. heal or trying to Mm -hmm. get healing it got to go both ways and so Mm -hmm. and you got to be supportive of the other person as they're in their process of healing and that sometimes it's hard when you've already been through stuff with the person and there's been scars that's been put on there so even if Mm -hmm. i can't have my come to moment 
And now I, I can't expect for, you know, for example, my husband to be like, okay, yeah, you got theory for that. Okay, now we good. We Gucci. No. Mm -hmm. We got to work through what that issue was. And it goes both ways. Like, you can't, you know. So. Yeah. Well, I, I listen. I, I um, for one, somebody said, I'm glad you listened, sister. And that's, that's the fact. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we all have to, you, you know what I'm saying? We all be grown. We, we feel like we too grown to get, you know, advice sometimes. But the reality of it is, if that person shows that you trust and chose to be with is in your space, then a lot of times, man, they are going to give you, you know, the, the, the a reality that you might not even be able to see. So you got to trust them sometimes. So I definitely commend you for trusting them. You know what I'm saying? To take a step because it can be easy to get defensive if somebody is calling you on something that you might either be used to or, you know what I mean, or something that you internally struggling with but don't want to kind of like bring to the forefront. So, yeah, you know I mean, I definitely, um, you know what I'm saying, got to acknowledge you for listening at that time. But this is what I'm saying to, 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 to everybody. And I'm, you know what I'm saying, also agreeing with what you're saying. Like the reality of it is, I don't think that marriage is, you know, I think that in a conversation, if, we think, and if we're going back to the initial question, what's a good time frame to talk marriage in a relationship? So if you're in a, if you're in a relationship, what's a good time to talk marriage? So I think, you know what I'm saying, within the first year of a, um, of a relationship, I still don't think you really know that person yet. I think for one, you know what I'm saying, the first, Scott, what you got going on? You know, here? three to six months. You know, the, first, the first three to six months, you know, you 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 dealing with a representative. You know, what I mean, this is somebody that they're coming to the proper with. You know, what I'm saying, they're trying to get your attention. You know, like, just like okay. so when they fit the feathers up. You know, what I mean, making everything look good to pull you in. So for the first three to six months, that's not even necessarily the truest person. I think it's, it takes at least a year just to kind of get a little bit more, you know, of an understanding of who you're even dealing with. So I don't think marriage, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not against it, I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think, you know what I'm saying, anybody should feel that they're getting their time wasted if within a year, you know, they're not talking or discussing marriage. Like, as far as I'm concerned, it takes four years to get a degree. Mm. It takes four years to get a degree. And that's and, and that's just at the base level. That's just a bachelor. That's not a master's, which is another you know what I mean, two to three years. And that's not a doctorate. Hey, now, what you doing, bro? Which is another two to three me? years. Oh, you know what I mean? So, so before you <laughs> even get to the level of mastery with something, you know what I mean? You're looking at a good four to six years before you even get to a level of mastery or understanding of something. So I don't think somebody should feel pressured or feel that they're getting their time wasted if you're in a productive relationship. And what I mean by productive is it, it feels as if you guys are growing to learn and understand each other. It feels that you guys are on the same page. It feels like you guys have similar, you know, similar direction that you're going in. So within the first year, I don't think it's necessary. Can, I, can I ask a question? Sure. So do you think a guy, because most, a lot of women know going in if they want to have the foundation of a marriage period with whoever they want to meet, just the marriage, just, I know I want to get married. Mm -hmm. Do I know I'm going, how to be the wife? Do I, am I molded or green to be a wife? I don't know that part, but I know I want to get married. Mm -hmm. Do you think a lot of men know going in that they at least want that committed part, a partner in commitment and foundation at some point in their life? So, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter the age of when y'all establish in this relationship too as to when they should because I feel like it really like you said the three to six months but I also feel like it depends on everybody's relationship is, is a develops at a different pace and depending on what y'all going through it may develop faster or slower or whatever so I think that if, if you're going at a certain pace where you're doing things that are what married people do then y'all should be having a conversation. But if y'all just taking the time to get to know each other, y'all doing it in, like on a different pace, then maybe within the first year. But I don't think there's anything wrong with having the conversation of what is your eventual goal in life? I don't, I'm not even saying it got to be with me. Got you. Do you want to get married? Is that something that you 
And so I wonder, do guys know that? And if you know that, what's wrong with having that conversation? I'm not saying it doesn't have to be with me. Because, right. you know, people come into your life for different seasons. I may just be here to, you know, show you, I don't know. But mm -hmm. having that conversation early on, is conversation. that's the thing. So what is, said, it that people do? what is it that married people do? You said doing that mar what married people do. I mean, like, y'all, okay, I'm saying, like, y'all playing house. Why did I say the playing house thing? Like, we well, gotta get house. that. Why? Because. Why? Because it's not. You know what I'm saying? That playing house it downplays. You know what I mean? Somebody wanting to. Jamal. Jamal, one second. I don't want to cut you oh. off. But if what? anybody have any questions, can y'all put the questions in the question box? Because when y'all put your questions in, they go. They keep going up, and I'm trying to. <clears throat> Make sure I answer everybody's questions that's on here. So that little question box at the bottom, can you put your question in there so I can have it show up so we can answer everybody's question? Please and thank you. Continue, Jamal. All right. Jamal, hold on, hold on. I hold on, Ma. So it becomes playing house when their girlfriend get married. That's when it becomes playing house Jamal. Oh, no, that's not when true. the girlfriend get married, oh. you're done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's so let me, let me, now we playing house. I don't want to get on the systemic, the systemic wow. piece of this. You know, from back in the day, if you go back to our ancestors and stuff like that, marriage is something that has always been a foundation. You know, when systemically they decided that we don't deserve to have right. that common family, and this is why the baby mama phase is a good thing. Everybody glorifies that. And I'm not saying anybody who wants to be a baby mom, I'm not talking down. That's you. Do you. But it came from us systemically being pulled away as a family unit. And this is why this is a normal culture to where you can say, oh, playing house is a problem. Because the thing is this, I think playing house is not because y'all live together. All right, yeah, y'all live together, whatever. Y'all start sharing bills. Oh, somebody talking about y'all want to have, y'all starting to bring kids into the mix you doing all, like i'm saying if mm -hmm. if the foundation of marriage started from a man and a woman coming together deciding to bring their two selves together and creating a foundation to where they could build a village meaning children or everything like that if that's where that started right from our ancestries from the all before before the, the you know the white man came in colonized and did all the shit that they did then why is it not why why is it okay that we make sure we make it we're keeping that alive and making sure it's okay that they did that to us yes we've been brainwashed we've been you know screwed but it was for they did that that's why we're thinking this way let me let me ask you answer your question and and she said he couldn't see the question mark thing that asked the, uh it says no you question probably gotta mark. go out and come back in sean because it's at the bottom no, uh, Chad said that too. I see mom. It says a question mark right next to the share. Like if you was going um share this um. Yeah, it's a circle. Mine is a circle with a question mark in it. It's a circle at the bottom, and it got a so, question mark so right this, next this, to the ad comment bubble. This is all I'm saying with the with the um with the with the see what I've been noticing lately is is a lot of it, it's a lot of and this is a word too. <laughs> no, it's not. But it it's it's a lot of these words. You know what I'm saying. That gaslight, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of gaslighting words. One of them is playing house. You know what I mean? Playing house. So if you have two adults, you know what I'm saying, that come together that are in a relationship, you know, um, that economically are supporting each other, that are emotionally supporting each other, that are, you know what I mean, there for each other and that are building a bond, you know, that is what marriage was. If you go back to our ancestors, they didn't have to go to the justice of peace. They had their own, you know what I mean, commitment, their own understanding. A ceremonial. You know I mean? They still had a ceremony. And, and, and it, it's on, they Sean, I had a ceremony on. Were they married? They had a ceremony. It might not have been a justice of the peace, like the legal part of it, but it was a ceremony of peace where they combined their two lives together and they made that commitment. What you mean, jump in the broom? It could be jumping the broom depending on the culture, but it was a it was something where they they did it in front of whoever their their spiritual person was. They like it was a ceremonial piece. We're not talking about the legality of it because that's something that is American man made. That's a that's a more man made thing. But it was a ceremonial piece where they made a commitment to each other. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, if because if you define okay, what is two what do married people do? 
you you combine your finances, you do financial things together, you support each other, you you live under well, some people live under the same roof. You do all those same things. Then if you take the the you're my husband, my wife title off of it and you still doing the same things, that's where it's called playing house because if the end goal is not for us to be doing this forever, then that means I'm gonna just be doing this with every time Dick and Harry that walk around. Like where where is it gonna be established that somebody out of the the bunch is is that special person to where you should be doing this with? So so that's what that's that's the thing. So marriage is two becoming one, right? Two becoming one. Two becoming one. All right. So if we and the commitment, sorry, you commit to become one. I right. Say. So if you no, but you like like Ma was saying, you gotta you know each three you know counseling, put the work in. You learn her, her, she learn him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, so y'all can become one, you know, live happily up left after. But you saying without, you can't do that without being married. No, I'm not saying that you can't do that while being married. I'm saying what is the end, what's the end game? What's the end goal? For us to grow old together. And do what? Die together. You, what, to you me mean? and the, like, a okay, serious so committed monogamous a serious relationship. Isn't, a serious that what relationship. A, isn't that what a marriage is? Yeah, so it's basically a title then, right? No, you're putting a title on you could put a name on it. Okay, let's call it a foundation, a commitment, whatever. You want to call it like I feel like people that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. People use the word marriage as a label as if it's just nothing. And this is why <laughs> this is why I'm, I'm just saying if you're not ago, religious, it don't really matter. If you it don't even have to yeah. be religious. I'm talking about it could be spiritual, forget religion. Religion is a is a is a, is a, is is a money maker. That's what people do to make money. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about spirituality. Because if you go in in front of like, I'm just saying like you, it's a it's not just a title. And if it is another title to somebody, then that's you're not getting it doing it for the right reason. If that's all it is, if all it is is a title, it doesn't mean you're building a foundation. You're making a commitment to someone else that I commit that I'm going to share my life with you, and these are the things that I'm going to do and give it to you. And I hope that you give, you're giving it, that's what people exchange vows for. Vows are for a reason. It's not supposed to just be words that you're saying. It's supposed to be a commitment that you're actually playing out. So the two highest things that we can do, well, a man can do to a woman is what? Give him a baby and marry him, right? That's, the that's two, not the two highest things. What's the two highest things you can do for a woman, then, as a man to a woman? I mean, it, so are you saying in the, in the construct of like what we're talking about right now? Or just, like, because you the why is it giving somebody anything? Why y'all not giving it to each other? Because that's I'm I, giving I, you I, a companion, you giving me a companion. We doing this together. It's no I and team. I, I like I like that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. But what I'm saying is majority of the time, men are the ones who uh marry women basically, you know, the ring and all that kind of stuff. We we get out we propose to y'all and everything like that, right? You don't really make like but a, that's oh, we, we're gonna get married. That's I mean true. that's a that's something I like I said that's also like a I don't think that that's, that's it's a man made thing that has not always been I know Mom. I think we made it a thing but like if a but you know how many people lose respect for a woman if she proposed to a man Yeah that's bad And I think that the thing is if y'all coming together and say you know what I want to get married cuz some people don't even go through the proposal they just say let's go to the justice of the peace Yeah that's fair We'll get rings or we'll, matter of fact we ain't getting rings let's get tattoos whatever Something symbolic. Some people, I think, in the ancestry, they didn't have rings. They did symbolic things that, like, so I think, like, it, it really depends on, like, overall what your initial reasoning for wanting to get married. Is it to build a foundation, have a companion, have a lifelong partner, have a life, like, if that's what it is, then the word marriage is a definition of those things. It's not just a title. Everybody say partner. A partner. That's what I'm saying. Like a co a companion, a partner. Like these are like all different things. Like if that's the case, then th the name of a, a man is just a title. A woman is just a title. No, it's a definition of who you. It's a definition of what you know. What makes you what you are. So if I'm beating your ass before we get married, <laughs> then after we get married, I beat your ass. I'm not a good person. A marriage. You wasn't a good to. person in the first place. That's like, what I'm. That's my point. Yes. So like, it, don't, it don't really matter. But I don't understand. I'm if I'm doing all the things that I'm doing before we got married, we like, yeah, we said, yeah, you my partner, you my person, you with me for the rest of your life, and we don't get married. What, that's, I just want to know what the difference is. I just want to know what the difference is. 
I'm dead I mean, serious though. Legally, I mean legal well, now if you want to say what the you spiritually. Is nowadays legally you can change I mean, can you legally change your name to can I legally change my name to my husband's name if we don't have a legal bond in front of God? No. Yes, you could. I don't think you can. No, you cannot. Yes, you you can. cannot. No, you cannot. You, you have cannot to yes, change you your last name. No, you cannot. They Why want can't legal you? documents. They want legal documents. Yes, you can change they it, but you have to documents. support legal documents. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. Look, they yeah, must not watch football. Up, hold on, hold on. They must not watch football. We just watched a whole grown man go from Chad Johnson, Johnson. to Chad Ocho Cinco. You can change your last name if you want to. A so, man can. Uh, a woman cannot just change her name legally. I don't know. I don't now, know. Woman can. No, no, listen. Listen, I know that for a fact. And the reason why I know that is because when you go to the Social Security office, they Anybody ask can change for... Their name, no, Meta world peace. Meta world peace. No, you cannot. It ain't associated with your social security license. number. I had to give my marriage license. Listen, listen, and listen, guys, guys. Well, listen, it, it, it's not a quiet. debate. Anybody can pay to I'm get your name changed. That's a. Hey, but what I'm saying is, you cannot the whole thing is this. Thing. The whole yes, you can. You all you needed documents. No, you don't. The only thing. The only thing I'm saying in terms of in terms of the playing house thing. In ter- all I'm saying in terms of playing house things is, all- is what I'm saying is sometimes we're putting we he's put a man in, we put in marriage <laughs> no we put in marriage over happiness that's the point you know what I'm saying you got you got to realize we put in marriage over happiness sometimes and we put in pressure on and a happy situation a you know what I mean for something that 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 ultimately we can do without like it's it's people that do have long standing relationships. They get wills, they get trusts that are written out to their companions, to their children, and they still sustain a happy life. They may not want to do it the, the, the quote unquote legal way. You know what I mean? They may get married Islamically or whatever the case may be, which is which may not be quote unquote le- the legal way. What I'm saying is until they make it legal. A, in, in terms of a commitment, you know what I mean? Like that can be a bond and an understanding between two people. Like I, I don't. I just think that <clears throat> whatever way you can find happiness, there you go. He doesn't go with it. It said yes. But generally, that, anyone not, can change their name at any time by taking the correct legal steps of filling, filling, fill, filing. Excuse me, filing a petition for name change. It is just easier when you get married listen. because you're not and they can deny need it to file any to. legal action. They could deny it if they want to. They could say no. Or they can but say you yes. can do it. So, but listen, but you can do it. They ain't no so hold on, Jamal. It. Back to what you were saying. That yeah. that's 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 we're not talking about the same things. If okay. two people decided, you know what, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married, but I want to be with you, and we're going to do this our way, and we're not right. going to do the legal part. I think that's I think to to each his own. Okay. But the problem is that where there's not a conversation that's had prior to okay. and then you walking in and y'all spending all this time and then you want you want to be married and he like i ain't never wanted to get married never told you i did yeah but i've been with you for all these years and no you got i mean i don't see that happening with no I, like it, it's it, how can you call yourself having any type of relationship if y'all didn't discuss your future goals you know what I mean? It happen every day, so, B. They out sure here every day. Forget marriage. Effective forget communication. Marriage. Future goals. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. That's a part day, of your future. Day. If that's a that's part of your future fault. goals. Like you said, Chad, that's her fault. It is her fault. Years, she that's like, her fault. I thought we was getting married. Like, but, but, but that's, that's what I'm saying. You're talking about your future goals. If marriage is a part of your future goals, why not have that conversation early on? Why not let your intention be known early on? If that's a part of your future goals. I'm not denying that. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm downplaying the word of playing house because if we're being adults and we're enjoying each other's space and we're living together, like chill with the playing house because what's happening is you putting pressure on people's good relationships because we're putting a negative I'm connotation on, on two grown people that are having a, a, a working, you know what I'm saying, relationship that live together. Like we stop putting that negative connotation. And if, that, if we're gonna do that, then let's together. stop putting. Let's stop put, making it seem like. The baby mama phase and being okay. That's mm-hmm. not cute either. Because the thing is this. People have made us feel like we should not have the respect of wanting to be more. So much that the label of baby mama is a negative conversation. It's not a positive thing. 
And that's okay. where the problem should be. That's the problem. So playing house, I mean, playing house to me is when you are acting like you're doing something that you really aren't doing. So if those two people decided from the jump that that's what they want, they're not playing house. They're living their life in the way they want to live it. I'm talking about the right. people who you acting like one way, but you really not. Or you thinking that, oh, okay, I'm going to change this man and I'm going to just do all these things. I'm going to play wifey. I'm going to show him all this stuff. But he really not giving me that same respect. That's what I'm talking about by playing house. Right. Why can't the woman be? Why can't the woman be doing it to get what she wanted to get married and then you know divorce the nigga or something like that to get get, I'm, get something out the man? There's no. I have no bias on on whatever gender. It could be same sex marriage that this is happening. In. Uh, there's no bias on the gender. I'm just speaking in general. But it's like if you if you know from the jump, like if a girl knows from the jump, I don't really want nothing from this nigga. I don't really want nothing from him. But I'm going to play the part so I can get what I want. And I'm going to play him and play him until I get what I want, then I'm out deuces. Right. Or vice versa. If it's a guy, I know that she really want to be married. I know she want to really be in, but I'm going to just keep stringing her along, making her think, oh, one day, one day, one day. Y'all, that's that's toxicity at its finest right there. And the thing yeah, is, I a lot of people don't have these conversations early on because they're afraid of being that person that, oh, I don't want him to think that I'm I'm, I'm moving too fast because I want to have a conversation. It's a conversation. Be adult. So if you met a I'll foreigner, if you met a foreigner, foreigner, right? If you met a foreigner, if you dating, if you dating, you met a foreigner. How long would you take before you marry him? A foreigner. What do you mean? A foreigner. The same he, amount he, of time. He, it don't matter where you're from. Okay, so you marrying? You no, I'm saying it depends on foreigner? like if if we both want the same things and we're aligned on the same things. That that to me is not the issue. The issue is that we're not having the conversation to let each other know what we really want. Mm. And if one person know that they don't want something and they're not saying something like you can be playing a part. A lot of people are afraid to have this conversation because they're afraid, oh, <laughs> I don't want him to think I'm moving too fast or I don't want her mm. to think I'm moving too fast. It's a conversation. Being an adult. If we could talk about sex yeah. all day, all these different positions and shit like that. And they say playing house shit. takes two, just like an argument. True. So exactly. the foreigner won't want the green card. If so he know he's coming in, he want the green card. Something? I mean, Jamal and Keith, can I ask you something? So, so men in general feel like you know they're being pushed or pressured to do something. So when we have children together, right, and I decide that I want my child to have my last name, why are you putting the pressure on me to give this child your last name? If 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 it's I a boy, to, it don't matter it don't, if it's a boy or a girl. It don't matter, boy or girl. Why is that pressure on a woman to feel like she has to give that child that man's last name? She wants to continue her legacy too. Yeah, I have, mean, have another child. No, <laughs> no. What? <laughs> we not even married. You don't even want to give me that commitment, exactly. which automatically gives you the last name. <laughs> But no, you want to just put that like make it go for it. No, I, I think it's a matter of prep. I think it's a matter of preference. I think it's a matter of preference, and basically, y'all need to have that conversation. That's no, it. But, but, what it's not, it but a lot of men put pressure on women no, to but give their no, child. It's not even a conversation over here. I'm it's telling pressure. you right now. Like, it's pressure, but but y'all don't want the why pressure. Why is it pressure? Being, listen. The Listen, same way as pressure you for you. You say the same as that way as women putting pressure on you to have a committed or a marriage or whatever, and a woman have in their mind that I want my child to continue my legacy and have keep my name. I don't care who the dad is. I want my last name to continue on too. I don't. What's like? What's the difference? So it's she got sisters. She got sisters. Name, but, but, it's, it's she don't? What if she don't? <laughs> no, she has She picked the wrong right? one. She picked the wrong one. Look, it's it's two different things we talking about. We talking about something that's temporary versus something that's you know what I'm saying that's temporary. Um, what's temporary? No, no, we talk, no, what's temporary is we saying some a man that's saying that he's not ready yet. You know what I'm saying? Versus you well, talking about uh, changing the last <laughs> last name of your kid forever. I just I don't even I, you know I, I know it's a hypothetical, but. You know, ultimately, like, I, I think that, you know, a lot of times, again, just for the, just for the, like, the pageantry of it, everybody wants to get get married. But that's, that's understandable. But a lot of times, a lot of us, 
and this is men and women, some guys could be saving you a headache by saying, I'm not ready for marriage yet. Y'all be so pressed to get a nigga. This motherfucker is trying to tell you, you listen, I'm a bad seed. I ain't got it right now. I'm trying to get myself together. I'm trying to work on myself. But you so pressed to get a ring or to get a label that you pushing this guy. Yeah. And guess what? Then when yep. he ruins your whole life, yep. you want to sit back and be like, oh, man, ain't this. That's her fault. Out. That That's nigga told fault. you he wasn't ready. That's her fault. That's what I'm but, saying. So, but this is what I'm saying. We have to oh, get, we have, before we even That's talk it. marriage, forget marriage. Like, that's for people that have evolved to a certain level. Forget marriage. We all are coming from cir circumstances where we all have trauma. This is black people, period. You need to be working on your damn self. So the conversation, if we're together, is have you had your own, how long have you been going to therapy? Exactly. Because you get with somebody and then you realize, you know what I mean, they done been through all this. You know what I mean? They, they might have got, you know, childhood situation they done been through and all that stuff starting to come out later. So it's all about your own individual, you know what I'm saying, investment in yourself first. You're not even ready for it. You just hear it's something nice and it's something good, so you just want it. And it is like a label. You want a Gucci belt. But it's and that's why I said those are the belt. wrong people to be getting married because they but don't... But you can't uh, afford Gucci I'm agreeing belt. with that's you. My, but listen to what I'm saying. You want a Gucci <laughs> belt because it looks nice and it sells, and it's what everybody's doing, but you can't really afford it. So you want marriage, it sells good, above your means. Doing it, but you're not ready. So you have, to, you have to make sure that you're taking accountability individually to make sure that your marriage material, a lot of y'all be walking around wanting to get married, and you're not marriage material. Vice versa, bro. Vice versa. Because y'all see y'all men rushing it. I don't see them rushing it. Y'all see them rushing it, though. Y'all the ones that's pressed. Not, first of all, that's not true. It. That's not true. That all it's not true. There are a lot of women out here that do pressure and I mean not pressure and press it because that's what they think they want. And that okay. may be what they really do want. But there's also a lot of men out here that think that they are husband material, that they've gone through the steps, and they may or may not have had that representation to show them that. But if you could get mad at if if this is a thing where we together and something happens where you came in being the superior, right? Meaning superior, you're financially taking care of everything. And that changes. Where's your ego going to happen? Because that's where a lot of problems happen. Your ego happen. And then what happens is that now you feel less than because she's stepping up. But isn't that what a partnership and a team supposed to do? If something happens to your teammate, you're going to just say, you're supposed to step up because that's what you should want is a partner that can step in. That doesn't mean you're not going to get your stuff together. But you don't want somebody who she can't do nothing because all she did I don't know where she going with it, Shiz. This She just went left on us. No, I didn't go left on it. I'm talking about you talking about a woman. Not, it's a lot of men don't know. We getting don't back, to, in we getting role back to checking in on yourself and making sure you got your own mentality. I already just said that. The thing is, you speaking Y'all be, y'all be super bipolar that. trying to get in a relationship and then turn into the whole, you know what I mean, other person when you with somebody. You're not ready. <laughs> You just we want, have you to want, say, the, you want the Gucci belt. Chad, I don't want That's it, but you can't no afford it. Chad, help me out here, Chad. Well, Please don't help him. Well, this is, this, this, <laughs> this is the, first of all, I like to thank, uh, first of all, I like to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to speak on your amazing platform. Oh, very, very intriguing. Three, I want to ask you a question, if possible. Why is it, since the beginning of time, men hold the door for women? They don't. I don't remember that. I don't know. I think that's where it came. Right? Okay, that's now, what they created about, chivalry. About the etiquette. Like we're supposed to walk. Like, right, let's talk about right. Yeah. We're supposed, we're supposed to walk mm. on the outside of the street, right? Protection, then we're, right. we're supposed to open the door for you when we go to dinner. We're supposed to pull the chair out for you, right? Why, I think that's like, a why protective is that? thing. I think that came from a form of protection. Mm, okay. All right. So your opinion is protection. I think so, that's where it came from. That's what. That's the only thing I've ever associated with with protection. Okay, now my yeah. question is, the thing with the last name, <clears throat> I'm speaking on this primarily because my disposition or my issue is that why do we want to be equal so bad? Mm. 30, 40 years wasn't as bad as y'all think it was because so many of y'all want the traditional thing that exists 30, 40 years ago. And to get back to that, we need rules. The fact is, some utter disrespect. I'm not talking about no nut, nigga. I'm talking about a, a man. I'm not talking about a boy. I'm talking about a man. The disrespect for me to be here with you during this birth 
and you talking about getting your last name to share your legacy, that shit don't even make sense. Because if you have girls, you hope that she get married and then your legacy is gone. So my thing is, why? Because men aren't stepping up in y'all some of y'all ideas, which is not actually true. And a lot of things that we, we, we come up in our mind is because if we see something happen seven times in a row, that's reality. And ultimately, that's not. Because that's, you'll go down there to Germantown Avenue and see a line <laughs> of black people in the welfare line. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, all black people are on welfare. But do you know more white people are on welfare than black people? So, absolutely. absolutely. More white people actually. Absolutely. But go ahead. So when we, say, <laughs> when we say stuff like baby mama is a bad thing, no, that's a bad interpretation of what you experience because we've created this bad connotation of her having flip-flops and, and selling as and not in, in income-based housing. But if we're talking about healthy relationships that aren't together, we're talking about proper co-parenting. That stuff exists. We're speaking mm -hmm. on these things because we see these things, right? So when y'all mm -hmm. say niggas ain't shit, it's because the last four niggas you've been with ain't shit. And y'all say bitches ain't shit, but holes and tricks. Holes and tricks. But we're talking about bitches and holes and tricks. We're not talking about women. Yeah. No, you talk about they are women yeah. who got those labels because of whatever came no. with it. So let's not no, do that. No, when y'all say niggas ain't shit, y'all talking about every black man. No, I'm not talking about every. I'm talking, talking about, about the. I'm, when I'm we say totally bitches ain't shit, shit. we talking about bitches. I'm talking about, talking females, about the people that I. It's holes and tricks. But, but uh, what, Chad, what, finish what you were saying, Chad. But why is it that, like... Exactly, Nat. Boom. It's, first of all, me and Nat not even speaking. Like, she don't have... <laughs> so, so my thing is, like, <laughs> we can't have both sides and innovate. But the fact is, and I don't care what none of y'all say, because I'll fight all y'all. Me and Ma are going to take Bring it over. on, Chad. Yeah, Bring it yeah. on. Men have not changed in 70 years. Mm. Y'all have. Mm. Y'all have changed, which is not a bad thing, ultimately. But when y'all started to get out the house, y'all ain't cooking no more. I mean, y'all are, but y'all not cooking all, <laughs> all day. Now we getting outside, getting off the porch. <laughs> exactly. Y'all not cooking everything. But why? Go get these jobs. about why that the is? Y'all executives. Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it a reason? It's not a reason. It's not a reason. It's not a why? Reason. But it is a reason. But it is a reason. It's always a bad thing. It's a Hold on. Let me... Y'all cut him off, and that's what y'all like to do. Cut a man off when he's trying to make I'm a point. I'm asking Chad a question. Why? Why? So it don't why? 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 Change? Why? What? Why do women have to change? But what does it matter? Oh, have to change. Not a bad thing. So, so let me have ask you to change. Okay, let me ask you a question before I answer your question. Was that on the on the backs, or was that because of black men? No, it wasn't. Because I already said that earlier. Okay, it's a systemic so thing. It was a systemic this thing, is the thing that thing. was put on us. But because we continue where people are so used to it, it's been continued on. That's why I said the whole label of baby mama has been made to be something negative because they specifically divided our homes because they knew the strong foundation of a black family was family. No, 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 no. Hell no. See, what? that's the problem. <laughs> Hell no. What are you talking about? The black foundation was not family. It was the black man. See, this is my point. Wait, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Y'all don't believe y'all need us. The foundation is the mm -hmm. main. Nobody said they don't need you. But that's I the don't point, think that the that's mindset. All, everything is about the mindset, right? So if I your mindset the is the reason that women oh, can the man finish own. speaking? Can the man That's my whole thing. Like, no, because he said he wanted to ask me a question. He never answered my question. Y'all want to be heard. Y'all talk about your not. He said he wanted to ask you a question. He got all this to say. He never answered my question. Why do, why do women have the opportunity to do it on their own? Jamal. What I'm saying is, he asked me a question, man, I answered his huh? question. He you said, let me already. ask you a question. We heard it. It was a good answer. answer. No. He said, said, let me ask you a question before I answer your question. I exactly. answered his question. He didn't answer did. my question. It was a good answer. I'm saying he might he didn't answer I did answer question, your question. Though. I said. What'd you say? I, I said, why you, do women have to do it on it? Why do women have to start doing things on their own? And then I asked you a question. And I said, was that because of black men? And you still never answered mine, though. And you said no, right? So before I could answer it, of All course, right. we're going to talk about if you watch the movie Claudine or Claudette, James Earl Jones had his, his girlfriend that he liked. She had a couple kids. She was living in the projects. He bought her a TV. And he bought her a toaster. And when that white lady came to go do the <laughs> recertification, he had to go. They had to yeah. hide the toaster, and they had to hide the, the TV. Because if we all living in this income-based housing, y'all don't deserve nice things. And if y'all do deserve nice things, shouldn't be no man providing it to you, right? Because this is an elevation of, of uh, I was about to say Russell Crowe, not Jim Crowe, but <laughs> Willie Lynch. 
So when you do that, then you do war. Send niggas to war. Then we do mass incarceration. Then we do drugs. Then we do homosexuality. Then we do all of these things to get the man out the household. And then we here scratching and surviving. And we're getting blamed for something that we ultimately didn't create. But yeah. the white man has gave y'all this superficial power to believe we don't need niggas. Because what did they do? They took the strongest man in the village and beat the shit out of him in front of the wife and kids. So mm -hmm. now she don't even look at that black man for protection anymore. She go to the white man. Who has the white man changed over the years? He's changed the, the occupation, but it's been the same person. Welfare. I don't need yep. you in my household. I get 276 every two weeks, and I get, <laughs> and I get $800 in food stamps. You're not going to mess this up. So you can go and be where you want to be. So you guys have taken the power away from something that actually has worked for so many years. Now, granted, if I do a job and you do a job the same, you deserve to get equal pay. But as women has got stronger and, and, and more wiser and, and, and powerful and able to come outside to say, you guys have changed the dynamic. You've changed. Y'all got money, got rich, got successful, got opportunities, and then created ideas of why y'all don't need men. Women will get will be broke. I said this yesterday. Women will be broke, work their way up to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, and create a mindset in their head that they don't need men. Men, this is funny, but it's real. We get three hundred and fifty thousand a year, and we get four or five women because we understand the power of you guys, of what you provide for us. Y'all can't tell us what we're good for besides dick in the wallet. We do I can not tell you get a million things you good for besides dick in a wallet. Because the both of those to go away. I huh? can tell you a billion things which you good for besides dick in a wallet. Because I can buy a dick and I can make my own money. So but that's the thing. Then y'all get these dildos no, 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 and no, no, roses. No, I'm, and not, I'm not. I'm saying what I'm saying is that you just said that that's all women think men are good for. And I can tell you several things that you are more better equipped for me than just a dick in a wallet. But why did you say that's that? Not the, all you're the, there, that's you... not all you're good for to me. And to, to prove your point, to, to go to your point, you were right. They took you guys out of the home. I'm not speaking. That, and that's the part that I said earlier. I said it was created and it was systemically passed on to where it made it be okay. The part that I'm talking about that men don't take accountability is when they decide to bring to take their own selves out of the home. When you out here doing fuck shit, when you out here playing with people, when you out here impregnating all these women, knowing that you ain't planning on taking care of them, and then they have to choose, they have to take care of themselves. I'm okay. talking about those because we're talking about two different type of people. Okay, we're talking no, about so two no, different type of people. Okay, we're talking about two different type of people. We're talking about males and men. You want a man, not a male. Okay, right. So, a lot that, and that's what my whole point was saying. A lot of men think that they are that and they're boys. Right. So let me ask you this. And they come into marriage thinking that they're men because they got a dick. And they, they want all this superiority, but they're not acting in such. And I'm not saying that women don't come in it with thinking that they should have all these things. I'm so saying it goes both it, so ways. Stop making it a gender then. Because that's, that really offends me. It is a gender because this is how, I did, how people right. operate. As, as, a man that, as, a, as a man that, you know what I mean, as a man that works hard for his family and, and, and within his community, that has relationships with other men that work hard in their families and in their communities, I'm offended by the fact that we automatically assign a gender to somebody who's not prepared for a relationship or somebody that's not prepared to, to take life serious. It's plenty of men that are taking life serious. It's a lot of women that are choosing the wrong men. I agree. One. And there's a I lot. Agree. And there's a lot of women that are not prepared for real life. So I that's agree. That's not putting the gender order because what I, I don't like men both is sentences. that so men. What are you talking about? Well, but but what I what I don't like is that you know what I mean we 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 automatically you know what I mean put a kind of a negative connotation on men and masculinity and automatically just put it out there as if you know a female has the answers a female knows what she wants a female's had it all together and she has to deal with a man like that is getting old and we're tired of that but nobody ever said that those weren't even words that came out of my mouth but what i said is that don't, it goes don't both assign ways. a gender to it don't don't assign, bad i just said it goes both ways it's a lot of women that aren't ready to be she uh, is not huh i've never oh. been a hater i know so, i'm gonna be real because i said it's a lot of men 
that come into it thinking that they have this title as a man but because saying, they have a penis. Stop so saying this. Can I finish my statement? You're only holding on to one word I'm saying and you're not listening. That's the main but word. That that's separates us. But what I'm telling you is that... No, no, no. But what I'm telling you that... Hold on. What I'm telling you is that by you saying it, it separates You're not even listening because I said on the first time there's also women. No, I did. I just said there's also women who come into it thinking... Let me say this. You're not listening. You're not listening. Let me say this. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Hold on. No, no. This is what I'm saying. Hold on. Real quick, real quick. This is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying. And this and and. This is adults having a conversation and we disagree, but it's all love on some real shit. What I'm saying is when we use certain labels like that, it automatically creates a divide. We need to start speaking with real, like with real unified words. Just keep that shit non-denominational. When you say, well, what men need to do, or if I say what women need to do, in reality, it divides us right there. It automatically just makes it as Yeah, if, but it can. You know what I'm saying? But and listen, that's I'm you got to, Jamal, even if we have an, a, a disagreement or whatever, or agree to disagree conversation, you can't be like, yeah, because women this, women that, women this, women that. But as soon as women are like, no, men this, men that, now you trigger. Now you feel some type of way. No, I thought we got to gotta, a point of understanding. No, no, listen, listen. And listen. No, because when I said something about the whole baby mama thing, why we coming back in no problem. Yo, no, what I'm saying is listen, that the negative listen, conversation on you, baby mama. Go ahead, I'm listening. When I said ahead, the whole Jabari. negative conversation on baby mama, I said that came from the, I said that's why it's a negative outlook on that. When I said that, that was no problem. But the matter that I said that there's a lot of men. That I didn't understand in, what you were saying, to be honest with you, when you said that. I didn't I didn't have because I didn't go either way on it. I didn't understand that point you was making. And that's fine Trust if you me. didn't understand that. What I'm saying is that the label baby mama has a bad title. And who who created the la the bad title? I don't know. Okay, so it didn't come out of the sky. And I said where it started was that systemically, and I said this before, systemically. They designed it to pull the men out of the household because they knew that the black family was a strong foundation. And it wasn't just about the man or the woman. I said foundation. So I was talking about together. I didn't separate those two. And so I said, when they started doing that, when they started doing that, that's when they started to create the single family home. Now, that was not our fault. That was put on us. Now, the part that is our fault that people need to take accountability of, and this goes for men and women, a woman who decides to lay down with a man who she know don't plan on doing nothing for her, but she just want to keep having babies, and a man that knows that he don't want to do nothing for these people, but he's just going around having sex with, it goes both ways. So we're not going to just make it seem like it's only one side or the other, but those people are responsible for why women had to start stepping up and doing it for themselves, because who going to take care of the kids? Because not everybody can get government assistance. Who, who, who was Even responsible? If, I'm sorry. Who was responsible for the women having to go get it? No, I she said, said who? She asked. She just said I asked. asked. I said the people, these men, I'm not talking about what was done to us that we couldn't control. Right. I'm talking about because that's almost like somebody saying, I grew up a product of my environment, but you could have chose not to. There's a lot of people who had a product of their environment. They chose opposite. Right. So these men who out here are pregnant in women and these women who are allowing themselves to get impregnated because some women do have control. They do know what they're doing. They do know what they're getting into. And if they don't really want to do what they need to do, then you can't just blame people. But I'm talking about the men who are deciding to make these single women single households because you know you have no intentions of taking care of these kids and you're making babies you have forced women to have to step up and i'm not talking about all women i'm talking about those women in those situations who had to step up and take care of their responsibility take care of their situation and they had to get better jobs so they can get paid more money because women don't get paid the same amount as men and can do less and don't have to know as much well, so what i'm saying is that that was it that shouldn't be our fault that we had to step up. No, it's not your fault that you had to step up, but it is your fault for being a bad nigger picker and a bad girl picker. Because this nigga who's a rolling stone showed that he was a rolling stone right? because he was leaving his kids at your house while you was braiding their kids. And I just said that women know better. They are also should be held accountable. But no, I'm not you speaking skip, a different no, no, language. No, but, I literally just said that. No, but listen, but, I, but you passed over that by saying I didn't pass over that. I said it three times. You didn't pass over what? 
I said it three different times. Women who out here having sex with all these men, knowing that these people aren't the people for her. That means you picking bad people. I'm saying you picking bad people. And the men same thing is for men who know that they are uh, manipulating people to know. You're getting a phone call, cousin. Nothing of that. <laughs> and then you leave her to go impregnate somebody else. I'm saying we got to take accountability. And I'm not just putting it on one side. It's both sides. It's both. But this is what I'm saying to you. And I agree with you. And I'm on your team because I don't want your spit to keep touching your phone screen. It's getting kind of weird. Ain't no spit weird. touching my phone screen. Um, <laughs> this is, this is my thing. We understand that you guys been forced or you have to make a way. You got to go out here and get to it. We get that. But. But. No but. Hey, but. BBL but, right? Mm. What gives y'all this mindset that after you guys started to get the bag and started to get the money, that it made you forget that how valuable we are to the family? See, this is the thing. A lot of you women. I can tell you right now why. A lot of you women believe that men are uh, uh, intimidated by women who get a lot of money. Because there are men that are intimidated. I'm not Cap. saying all men. Cap. I'm not saying all men, but there Cap. are men who are intimidated. Cat. Now, intimidated is not even the right word. We don't see a space for us when these women get in this money. When y'all get in money, y'all talk different. Mm. Didn't I just say ego? I said ego plays Listen, a lot Listen, you of ain't going to say everything I said. No. We ain't going to agree. No, 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 no. I said ego. I said ego. You, ego. I said you say, ego early you on. You already said it. But, but I said ego up. before he even said it a while ago. That was I wasn't on here when you said it. got to say. You wasn't on here, Chad, because you were one who made the comment. And I said, this is the problem when people get into a situation and say, like, the man is coming and making all the money. He's the breadwinner. And that changes. And the woman has to step up. His ego jumps in. And I did say that. His ego don't jump in all of the yes, time. Yes, his ego. This is the problem. Yeah. You just made the he statement. He wasn't you getting, literally he wasn't just said it. I don't have room. It. There's no room for me because you're making all this money. No. That's see, an ego you, problem. No, no. It's not it's an, an ego. ego problem. It's not understanding no, the science and the dynamic of what a responsibility of a man is. What's my job to protect and provide? What I'm saying is I can't even provide because of the way you talking. Mm. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. It's not about ego. And first of all, I've been up and I've Please. been down. And when my wife when I'm down, broke leg, you know, got kidney disease or whatever, my wife hold me down, I feel empowered. I don't feel like mm -hmm. I'm less of a man mm -hmm. because I understand my intentions. I can't do it right now. And she got me. You want to be put in those situations. A lot of men don't be, a lot of men aren't like that. A lot of we're men. Talking, we're, we're talking about, about men. men. We're not talking, boys. we're not talking about boys. We talk about men. We talk about a high value man. The experiences that you're speaking on are boys who are intimidated. I'm not intimidated. I just don't want to be around a woman who everything is about I did this, I did that, and she, see that is no. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna force your way in to show people how valuable you valuable you are. You gonna go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. If you go to a Chinese store and they're not saying thank you, you're gonna kindly take your money back and go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's not about everybody want to say that's me. Why can't I be a good representation of what a man is? Because you guys have four or five bad representations. And the reason why you guys are bad... Listen, this is the fact, and I'm going to be on y'all team, and we're going to agree with this, because I don't want to keep going to the part where we where we fighting each other. We both have to understand our plights against each other. Y'all mm -hmm. got to understand what we go through as men, and we got to understand what y'all go through as women. The fact of the matter is we're better, we're better wife pickers than y'all are better husband pickers. Mm. Because whether you agree, my husband ain't pick me. I no, 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 no. I, I no, agree I with that. You. you know why? Because we come well I put together. You. We got our you shit together. That. No, that's not that's why I said that. And I'm just talking did. trash right now. Part of me is talking trash. Part of it, I am serious. You know why you could pick somebody who's a good person? Because they already came that way. No, that's not what mm. I'm saying to you. You gotta let me finish my point before you have yours. This is the you thing. Said, what I'm saying, you said you're a better wife picker. What I'm saying is we are better <laughs> wife pickers than women are better this men pickers because. More Chad, men. let me ask you this. I'm sorry. I'm Hold up. Let him finish this brother. point. Damn. Why? No, Y'all always want to be the girl. You can't let him finish this point. I want to talk. I and want guess to what? You're going to ask me a question. I'm going to finish saying what I was saying. So go ahead. <laughs> I want to talk. So listen, right? Y'all you, you, say that y'all are good. Y'all are better wife pickers, right? So if that's the case, then why 
do y'all have baby mamas then? All right, so what I was saying, <laughs> what I was saying before I answer your question. They ain't picking wives in that moment. What they got to do with marriage? But listen, they before I answer your question. Why do y'all have, if, that, if y'all are good wife pickers, y'all wouldn't, some men wouldn't have multiple children around like that. They would just have children with that person that they feel like is wife material. All right, right? so let me say this before I answer your question, because I was telling something before you. Go ahead, So we are better wife pickers than y'all are husband pickers due to the fact, not like we're perfect, but we're better because we have more representations of mothers than y'all have representations of fathers. Good so the point. important thing is a man should want a woman that's like his mother, right? Mm -hmm. So if a woman had a dad or an uncle or more representation, that's why they say when a woman has a strong dad, it's only two, one, one is only going to be a husband or a father. A strong father is not really a strong husband. It's usually a weak one because you only got one strong influence and that's all a woman need. A, a dad should be a daughter's first love. That's what be your first love. So when we pick people, we pick people that's sort of like our, 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 our mother or, or, or would be a little bit better. I'm not saying we're, there's not a, a situation where, you know, we do pick bad people because sometimes when we picking these people, we're picking, we're not ultimately always picking wives. We picking mm -hmm. girlfriends and they get pregnant. That yeah. don't mean, just because I have so a baby. So you're not a good wife picker. Huh? I said, so then you're not a good wife. They, I, I, they wasn't my wife. Kid. I never asked her to be my wife. Okay, so you're talking about when you're ready to get married, you are better at picking a wife. Yeah, that's then. the same thing I said. But what I'm saying is, no, but that, I'm just clarifying because if you have a lot of baby moms, were you picking wives then, or you were no. just having? No, sex? I never. Listen, you. What? That point that you said is if I was married five times and then I was having trouble with four wives. When I'm out here thinking with the other head and I'm out here just having fun and I'm having babies. That's not me picking a wife, but that boy will have four baby mamas and then go pick a wife and be happily ever after. When we're ready to pick a wife, we better we we ready. That's we just fact. better. So so you just out here just planting seeds until you pick the right wife. Well, I'm not speaking for me, but yeah. what I'm saying. Well, see, this is the thing. This is what this is what this is why we always have these. Don't say these, that's what we go through. That's no. That's, listen, this is no. Be, Listen, this I'm a good we, husband picker. That's why I ain't had no kids and I ain't have all the extracurriculars because no, I don't want to be lucky. Stop with that. No, 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 no. No, she wasn't so just is, lucky. No. This is the thing, and I said this yesterday. Why, you know why we have no damn lucky Jamal. You know why we have spats out, amongst each other, like male and female, black male and female, why we have spats? It's because we think with two different parts of the brain. We thinking with logic and y'all thinking with emotion. What no, I'm thinking, thinking with logic, boo. No, listen. Yeah, listen. So what I, listen, what I, no, no, what I said to you, what I said to you was logic. That wasn't logic. What I, listen, what I said to you was logic. I said we are better, I said we are better wife pickers than y'all are, uh, we are better wife pickers than y'all are, uh, husband, husband pickers. pickers. Y'all said, but why y'all got agree. all these baby moms? That had nothing to do with what I said. The thing is, because this yeah, is the thing, you know how they became baby moms? You know how they became baby moms? I'm quite sure they didn't go into it. They probably went into it trying to be in a relationship and they thought they were going to be in something long term and it ended up being that they became a baby mom. Objection. So because Objection. you gotta show because sometimes because sometimes you're looking at the representative. Oh my god, this wild, this wild, I mean, the person why y'all cheat like, on your wives? Like, what are we talking about? Like, that has nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Don't, don't, don't even, don't even feed. No, but seriously, what I'm saying is that these baby moms, they became just, baby just keep moms. Keep it moving. Scroll down. They but why you can't? But it. why do we always? Why is it so baby mom a bad thing? I know a lot of people that I just said it was. Really it, good. it was who created that, and no one knew the answer to that question. Who know. created what? The baby mom. The negative. Notion about a baby mom, the negative term baby mom. You did. I didn't create that. <laughs> I, I, listen, I ain't created it. Because you, but the thing is this you know why there's so much more baby moms than wives? Because these men, and I'm not going to say all men, I'm not going to say all men because I don't know all men. This is showing you I'm don't have no about accountability men, for women. I'm talking about the men who are playing people, making these women think that it's going to be more when it really isn't. And now How many women do this for lunch? What are we talking about? Don't bring what? up nothing not to throw back at you. That's what we're doing for now on. No, what I'm saying. No, 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 no. And I'm not. I wasn't done my statement. I'm sorry. Also, you have women out here who are ignoring the signs. They're ignoring the red flags. Or they or they going into it with a different... Well, they're the red flags. But what about the women that are using the men? I'm not I just said, I'm not, I wasn't done my statement, sir. But you went from men... Grinding or when doing because this. who ha creates a baby mom? Stop we it. can't create being a baby mom on our own. Who Stop creates a baby mom? Are you serious? Unless we get our artificially. If I don't 
will rape we're you and take two to tango. We have baby moms on our own. You know what I mean? I'll just wake up and be like, you know what? Female. That's, what I mean, baby mom. That's what I want to do. So how I'm going to go out? Let me go door to explore and find out how I'm going to be a baby mom. You know what? Back, 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 back. Let me walk down the fucking street. You want to fuck me? So you crazy. Hey, Chad, 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 Chad. The ridiculous part is, you know what I mean? I just had my homie just, just um, told me that at the 12 years, he found out that the kid he thought was his wasn't even his. It's a lot of these crap. And I you know just I mean, said that. I'm not We're denying that. Out here. We're not even having that. And then y'all want to put it. never denied that. We're not having it. I but never denied that. Come on. That's why I just said. There's a but, lot of women out here listen. who are also... No who are also ignoring the red flags. Meaning, if you know that this man is not about anything, yet you're still deciding to lay down with him, let him bust in you, and you get pregnant, that is not just his fault. I'm talking about the people who manipulate and make you think it's going to be something that they know they have no intentions of doing. Is that just with the gender of males, or do females do that too? I just... I understand, I but you're saying you're talking what about. I'm saying, okay, you're not talking about a gender. Talking you're talking about, about right people. Now. What to the point you that we're talking people, about right now? When it earlier. comes to when it, I'm talking about to the point when it comes to how a baby mom can be created, it's only two different ways, right? It could, or actually three, three different ways. You either you beat this person, y'all think that you know it's going to be he's he telling you everything you want to hear, blah 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 blah, and you think it's going to be something, and it ends up not being nothing because he full of crap now you by yourself then you got the other person women who out here trying to get pregnant by people for whatever malicious reason they want for money to get back to try and trap somebody you got them women out there too then you got the other person you got the other side of it where you have y'all just y'all not y'all not being responsible for what y'all doing and it just happens accidentally nobody came into a malicious with a malicious intent so that's what I'm saying. It goes on both sides. So you can say people, but I want to tell you, for, for the percentage of baby mom creation wasn't happening because she decided that, you know what, I just want to ignore the red flags. A great majority of it could be, but a lot of it, it comes from manipulation when people don't want to be honest about what they're doing. They out here lying, cheating, and fucking all these girls, having sex with all these people, knowing that they don't have no intentions, and now she a baby mom, and she considered a statistic. Can because I say that's something? where the negative part came from. All right, so you what you're saying is to me, I'm, and I, I agree with you 100%, I'm going to say that. But what you're saying to me is very confusing and condescending because you'll say people, then you'll say he go around and fucking on all these I said people because y'all wanted me to say people. I but don't, you, but I don't it, need but to it's say really, people. But it's really centered to man. That's what I'm saying. It's not centered to man. I said you both. Just, I literally just gave you three different examples. But, one, then you, but my point people, is you're giving us one. Three, you're giving us three examples to, to make us feel good. But then no, you go back that's to what truth. you really feel. You feel like it's not. I'm it's telling you part. how I really feel. First of all, I don't say things to, for people to hear because they want to feel good. I say how I feel because I'm being real. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's only on one side of the fence because it's not. There's You're a lot of women out here All right, so let me ask you this. Ultimately, what's your point then? If it's both sides, what was your point for saying all of that? Because the thing is, y'all don't realize the baby, the baby, because your original statement was women are coming out here doing things on their own and as if and i and i said the statement before about the fact that you know we it was it was passed down on us for us to have a single family home but we're not taking account of the ability of current times people are choosing that we can no longer blame someone else for why these things are happening and we can't be mad at a woman because she has to step up and do all these things and provide for her family or she wants to make more money so she can have a better quality of life to provide for her kids or whatever the case may be because the thing is the matter is that it does come into ego and ego could be on both sides yes are there women that you know make a whole lot of money don't think that they can come down to be a partner yes but a lot of men act like they want independent women but when they get the independent woman Y'all, y'all want to y'all want to y'all want to diminish her light, and I'm not saying all men do that, but there's a lot of women out there that because they had to be independent for so long, they had to do it on their own for so long because they could not count on somebody because person after person after person kept letting them down, and you could call them a bad nigga picker, or you could you could call them somebody who they were told one thing and they were fed a different lie. 
So it goes both ways. So if you have to become an independent woman because you were raised to be that way. My mom always raised me never to want for nothing. Never want for nothing. Be able to be able to stand on your two feet if you need to. That doesn't mean... Now, will I say that growing up, I had to understand that I need to also be able to be a partner because you being so independent, you're used to doing everything on your own. It's hard to accept help, especially when you can't depend on people. When you can't depend on people. Now, if you have many representations of men coming in who showed you that you could depend on them because a lot of independent women don't want to have to make all the decisions. They want to be able to take the back seat. They want to be able to do all that. But you have a lot of people who come in here and they don't, they're not giving me nothing to follow. You're not giving me good representation so, to follow. So since you're not we're going giving to do me a reason to follow, you're not leading me any kind of way because you're still doing stupid stuff. And you're you're labeling yourself as a man, but you're acting like a boy. But you want everybody know. to treat you like a man. I don't know who Jim Red is, but she got relaxed. <laughs> she on one. my team, Jim Red. <laughs> number, number one. Listen. And number two, I, I just want to say this real fast, Ma. Your, yeah. your logic that you're saying makes so much sense. And I want to applaud you because it does make sense. But when you create those small parameters and parentheses, it's going to make sense. Yes, it's going to make sense if you got to be forced outside to go get your own bag. Yes, it's going to make sense. You're going to make so much sense. But then... A man is uh, 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 a misogynist, a narcissist, a fraud. Yes, that's going to make sense. So if you want to talk about that, then I'm going to counter your argument with something else that makes sense that has nothing to do with the price of tea in China. What about the men who want to be there for their children and want to be for the woman, but she don't want them there because she's on her own independent voyage? Oh, I, there is help. I'm not going to sit here and act like every woman that, that is out here getting it for themselves don't have representation of help, but they just don't take it. What about those people? We're creating all these subdivisions and brackets to prove points that don't even have to do with my point. My point is when a woman gets money, it's amazing. It's good. It's unfortunate that you had to be forced out here to get money when you should have been able to do it yourself. I'm on that page. But my whole thing is when women get money, they act different towards men. They look at us differently because they said, you were ideally about a money. Since you don't provide me the money, you are worthless. That's all I'm saying. Everything that a woman has to go through, my mom was a woman. My mom was single. She had to take care of it. She had to do it. And guess who she is now? She's alone because she can't even figure out a way to part her lips to say, I need help. She's had men, but she throwed them out the door because she wants, she picks a certain type of man now. Now she want a bum ass nigga who going to sit on the couch because now as a mother, that motherly bosom doesn't go anywhere. She can't come to my house and lay in my bed. So she go find a nigga who is going to be the nigga who falls into what she wants. She feels strong. She feels strong. So she want a nigga who, I drove past my mom's house at six in the morning. I'm about to go to the house and shovel her snow. I go shovel the snow with my mom outside. I go in the house to pee. Her boyfriend on the couch. I said, Mom, why is he on the couch? You know, I ain't going to ask him. That's automatic. He's supposed to get up. But she like those type of niggas. So my point is, don't eliminate the real, real feeling, the real impact that a man has in the family just because you had to be in this position. Now, your mother, not your mom, but mothers have taught daughters to be independent themselves. Jim, Jim Rats, for real, though, like, let's be, like, at some point, we got to agree on something. I said... No, but I, I mean, I agree with you, but I also think that, that that's putting the parenthesis, because that's a that's a population of women who... A part I'm of supposed to be, tell a man that's not going to get up for himself no, 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 and go no, help no, shovel not, my mom's No, 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 what I'm saying... No, I'm saying no, I'm that, asking that's the, a, the girl that said, you tell him to, to do it. Is she bitten? Because I ain't never seen no LOL or smiley face. Don't, she don't, 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 she don't just did a lamp. No, but so seriously, like, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a group of women that has a parenthesis where... It's a self-esteem thing. Sometimes people are so tired of being tired that they, they, they stop trying and they just take whatever. Then you have people that are tired of being tired and they just rather be by themselves. And they're not going to have that kind of stuff. And then you have the kind of person where you are taught to be independent, but then you got the moms that teach their girls to only depend on a man. That's what you out there to go do. If he ain't got no money, he ain't shit. If he can't do this, he ain't shit. She's not teaching her how to get her own. She's not teaching her how to be independent when you're single, but when you come into a yeah. marriage, we're a team. What's your marital status? Married. 
Okay. She are married. you happy? Are you happily married? I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm happily married. Okay. You're acting like these people not in marriage. No, I'm saying like I mean, I mean, what's I mean, happily, I mean, happily married. Mean, do we have stuff that we go through? Absolutely. But am I happy being married? Yeah, I'm happy being married. All right. But I was independent before that, and I I went contested because I know that I had struggles not in this marriage, but when I in a previous relationship where when we first decided to move in together, I was like, let's split everything down the middle. And he was like, no, I want you to only pay for this. And I I didn't understand it because I'm like, I'm thinking, Liza, let's be fair. I make more money than you do. Let's just do... I'm think, I didn't say that, but I'm thinking like, let's just split everything down the middle. He wanted to pay for more stuff. My mom was like, you got to let him do that. And I'm like, but financially, that doesn't make sense because he doesn't make enough to do that. So I'm trying to think logically for us now, if he starts making more to where that's going to be equal and fair, that's one thing. And I had to understand it, so I took a step back. Who got bit in the behind because of that? Me. Mm -hmm. Want to know why? Because I'm giving him half. He's taking the money and doing other shit with it. I didn't find that out until we broke up. So I, I interacted a letter from like a legal thing about an apartment we was with. But I said, see, this is why. And I didn't, and I didn't use no, that. No, no, see, what? that's the problem, though. But I said, I didn't use that to say, you know what? The next time around, I'm not going to trust that. The next time around, I'm just going to be smarter. If I know, because there are relationships where one person is better handling the finances than other. Sometimes it's the man that's better to handle the finances than the woman. Sometimes it's the woman that's better than handling the finances than the man. And it depends on y'all having that conversation. But what I'm saying is that if, if I didn't have that experience and I went away from that saying, you know what? Now I can't trust a no, not no other Negro to to pay my. I'm going to pay. I'm going to do it half down the middle. No, what I did take out of that is like, okay, because you're independent. Yes, you have you know how to stand on your own two feet if something was to happen. God forbid he dies and you are single widow or whatever. You can deal with it. But I had to learn how. Okay, I need to allow him to do this and this and this and that. But you got to have somebody who wants to be able to, to take that part on too, because you have a lot of people who act like, okay, I'm the man. I, I make all the money. I make all the decisions. I don't have to listen to you. You don't have, you don't get a say in certain things. And but, it's like, okay, can, but can I, can I, I mean, I'm, uh, can I hear a positive situation that you've heard about men? I have plenty of positive situations about men. No, I'm just but asking. Not, we wasn't talking about that. We, we were talking about was I'm responding to a statement that you made. And I said, you know, there's a lot of men and the, there's a lot of men out here that want to be providers that know how to have a, a woman who makes it's not more <laughs> money than them, just as much money than them. And they're a team and there's no ego placed in it. But there's a lot of people on the latter side. That's not like that. That's why you have all these Kevin Samuels out here talking crazy ho, ho, and ho, making so people think. I'm going to be keeping real. You got a lot of people out here talking crazy and they not even about that life. You're not even come. You like when you have somebody saying, what are you bring it to the table? Dude, you ain't got a pot to piss in or a window out of to throw it out of. How you asking me what I'm bringing to the table when I have all of my own? But this, 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 let me, let me say something like at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like when somebody said a, a man can ask you what you bring it to the table, you know what I mean? And, and a woman can ask that. And so for a man, one of the things for a man to have brought to the table is somebody that doesn't have an attitude, somebody that's compatible, somebody that's cooperative. So it don't even have nothing to do with your money. So a lot of times females will get a couple dollars and start swinging it around like it means something to a man, and it doesn't. A man will, let, a man will bypass your ass in a heartbeat, and you can have six figures for somebody that gives him, brings him peace. So I, I'm, I don't have any problem with independent women, but a real man is not going to want an independent woman. A real man is going to want a cooperative woman, an interdependent woman. Cooperative a, woman. Don't, don't say, Ma, 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 let me, let me. Cooperative woman. Ma, 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 no, listen oh, real right, oh, oh, on your team. Oh, oh, don't say oh, words oh, like that. Oh, no, no. Because listen, you got to get a definition. They, they can't hear cooperative. Hold cooperative cooperative means like, my whole thing is this. My, my whole thing is this. Mm. We, it's, it's about being interdependent. It's about partnership is about being able to, times. to work together and do what we need to do. So, I just said that a hundred times. It's, it's more, it's, it's going to be a lot of independent women and I have nothing but respect for any adult. This is an adult. Forget an independent woman because anybody can be independent. It just means you're alone. So 
this the whole thing is I'm getting money, I'm I'm working, I'm I got my own things. You should be able to have your own things. If you don't have children or if you, you know what I mean, on your own, if you're fresh out of school or if you have a job and a car, that's basic necessities. Where's your character? Where's your ability to be a partner with somebody else that you're in a relationship? Those are the things that really mean something when you're trying to come together and build a union. A man is not going to be worried about your dollar. He's going to be worried about, you know what I'm saying, how you can be compatible with him. And, and that's something that I feel that for independent women is necessary because maybe it's more women than men, and some people are just not going to be able to have a companion. So, yes, they should, you know what I mean, understand how to maintain their lives and, and be adults. But for people that want to be partners, that's the key word. People that want to be partners, do you know how to fit within a partnership? And that's really, as far as I'm concerned, the key. It ain't about being submissive. It ain't about, you know what I mean, bowing down. It ain't about, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a whole lot of that. It ain't about ego. It's literally about, you know what I'm saying, are you able to adjust and be within a team? And a but lot that's, of, I, but said that, that, Ma, I said that, Mom. Mom, I said that. I said that that goes, that goes both ways, though, because you have men and women who are in relationships and don't know how to be a team player. They get, they do get intimidated. They do feel like, Oh, you ain't no better than me or nothing like that. Or they feel like, no, cause I'm the man I control this or because I'm the woman I can do this and I can do that. Like that's, that's both sides. That's both sides. It's not just women that has that type of attitude. Men are the same as that way. Men get a whole lot of money sometimes and get beside themselves and feel like, oh, because they the man and they handle this and they handle that. Oh, that gives me the right to go cheat. That gives me the right to do whatever I want to do. Like, and you're supposed to be okay with that. And they and women are really out here being submissive and respectful and loyal to their men, and they still getting dogged. But yep. but let's talk about the we're not everything isn't a relate everything isn't like relationship or or on a level to almost marriage. Some things is prostitution. Some mm. things are transactional relationships. Because a nigga who getting money and treating this girl like shit, she don't mind because she value the money more. So this is the thing. If you walking down the street, Sheree, and somebody say, yo, baby, yo, baby, what's up? You can't get mad at him because that worked at some point with somebody. Men are only <laughs> going to do what has, when they have done before and before or what a person likes. So when you as a woman say to a man like that, what girl you was around that 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 like that? You change his whole aura. So we got to be understanding that a man getting money, it's women out here that know that nigga getting money, so I'm messing with him. So her stock goes down. And then he's smart. He know the game. So if I'm all about money and you using me for money, I could treat you any type of way I want to. Not to say that it's right, but if you accept that, then it's green light. This is my thing. For the I'm not talking about boys. I'm not talking about people with transactional relationships. I'm not talking about prostitution. I'm talking about people who really want real partnership, not marriage, not marriage, not boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm talking about partnership. Y'all want to share the world together because we know there are some people that have been together 40 years and don't have a title. There's other people on the outside of that relationship that make you feel like you need a title when you don't. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about healthy relationships, you got to have healthy practices yourself and you got to be willing to settle. Settling is not always a bad thing. Let's be clear with that word. Right? Can we use the word compromise instead of settle? Because compromise sounds like more of a constructive thing in a relationship. No, settling is cool. I, I like that word too. I just think that it makes you probably feel better. So would you like No, me? I'm just saying settling makes <laughs> it, it sounds like somebody, one person All right, so you're only you're only doing it because you want to, but you're not necessarily happy in it. Compromising means y'all both come to like and a mutual All right, so let me ask you this. Me and you, you married, I'm married. We just role playing. You you got a lineup of guys. I got a lineup of, of women. And I'm dating them and you dating them. And then I decide to say, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with all of these women. And you say, you tired of dealing with all of these men. And I say, I want you to be mine, right? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? You are setting your intention in that moment. I'm settling down. So, are, no, no, how are you settling if you're making the decision that you don't want to deal with all that's not settling, that's your decision. That's what they call it, it's called settling. So, when you basically get to the point, oh, you're like, saying the word we settle down together, not settling because it's two different things. If we settle down together, I mean, we both decide to be together, that's a mutual thing. Settling is like 
I'm not happy with this, but I'm just going to do it because it makes you happy. No, so, and are you happy in your relationship? Yes. Do you believe... That I have to make a lot of compromises based no, on... No, 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 that's not my point. point. That's not my point. My question is, you're happy in your relationship, right? Yes. Do you believe, honestly, out of 7.8 billion people, that it's somebody else that's probably better than your husband? Um, I don't believe that because I'm not thinking about nobody else. But for the sake of the point, do you believe that it's possibly somebody out here that could be better than your husband? I, I, no, I, I don't. honestly, I don't have any. I, I my answer, answer that. To that no, I don't. I'm not thinking about that because I'm not thinking about nobody mm -hmm. else. Because there's if I'm always thinking about a car. That means somebody better. Then that means I'm not. No. I'm thinking about someone. No. Yes, you think it's listen, worth. Too, too listen, deep no. J. That, Cole that, said that, it. It's that, always that, a call. It's that is what the problem is with us. That's the problem. When you got in your mind that you feel like there is something better than what you have, then that's why these relationships and things like that do not last. Well, that's because not my if point. You have the mindset that your eye is only on this one. I only love my husband. Only my husband. I don't give a shit about nobody else. I don't care how exactly. Look. I don't care and how that's much the, money that's, he that's got. the great. I don't care about nobody extra. In between it's all about jamal if jamal do right by sheree i'm gonna do right by jamal that's it period if we don't work then oh well we gotta move on but at the end of the day until them do us part it's jamal i don't care about nothing else all right Thanks. and that's cool to say but my point for that and i understand what you're saying i get the whole butter love thing that's amazing i'm, I'm happy that's that's that. that's not butter love. That's <laughs> No, that's the no, problem. That's, like, that's, 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 that's not that's my, my answer, my, but you want my, me to say something is, different to fit your narrative, and that's not what it is. No, but yeah, I'm like, not thinking on, about man, nobody else. Everybody's supposed to think if you so, want somebody that you marry. Like, no. why do you? Why would you have in your mind that you feel like you need something better, or it's a possibility that, that's that's not, that's something out there in the world is better? That's not. He wasn't trying to prove that point. That's not what I was saying. What I'm saying is, there's always a car better than the one you had. There's always better a house. There's always better, something better. But when you choose what you choose, ultimately you settle for what you have. You can take it for a bad connotation or take the word to make it mean something, but we all settle. Settling doesn't always have to be a bad analogy. I mean, a bad no, idea. No, it's not. It means you appreciate no, something. No, it's not. Down no, your, when you make it, I don't think that noodles, a bad idea. When you're making your oodles and noodles and the water boil at the top and you turn the fire off, it settles. It calms down. It mm -hmm. chills. That's all I'm saying. So I'm sorry that I have to be so definitive with the words to get you guys to No, I don't think that's what it is because I said it was two different things. We used, your, your first original example was we both decided we didn't want to deal with these other people, so we're settling down mm -hmm. with each other. Now, I mm -hmm. said that's different from someone settling for something, meaning if I'm you you do something, this is this is something that I have these standards, right? I got this list of standards. You may meet, I have maybe have 10, you meet seven of them. The other three. Why would you have 10 and I have seven? Why can't I have 10? No, I didn't say that. I said I have 10 and you meet seven of them. Okay. Yeah. You meet seven of the standards that I have. Three of them, you don't meet. That's not you. And it's not who you are. That Am I deciding to settle for the fact that I'm not getting 10 versus seven? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm settling. But that's not me. That's not the same thing as you saying we both decided that we didn't want to deal with other people and we wanted to be with each other. That's us settling down with each other. But nobody is going to say one, two, nobody's going to say one, two, three, let's, nobody's yeah. going to say one, two, three, let's get married at the same time. I'm not, somebody has to propose it, whether you two agree or not. I'm saying to you, I'm ready to settle down with you. You missing the point. Whether we I didn't know I'm not because I'm going by your example. You just said you had a lineup of men. <laughs> I had a lineup of women. I decided I, I didn't want to be with nobody else settle. no more. It's another one of those gaslight words. I, no, I mean, it's not. You're not. The thing is, I, I'm I mean, not. A, no, I no. Just, hear, just, and I listened to everything look, he said, I but I said it's two different things. Thinking. And the reason why I say sometimes we're being lazy thinking, and, and that's all of us included, is because we have these certain gaslight words that as soon as you hear the word, you know what I mean, settle, it, 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 it sets off these, this, these anxiety. I didn't even say that was a bad hold thing. Up, said, hold it's hold a up, difference hold between hold settling hold and settle. But, what I'm but as soon as you said the word, you said compromise. Saying, no, I said, because you said settling. That's what I said. When you said the word settling, now we talking about settling that is a verb. Settling. Like, come on, let's be real. Let's be no, real. but that is and a two different at, definitions. We got to look at, look it look up. at the micro, and not the macro. Look it look up. The look at the two different definitions. The larger thing. All right, so if I change the word to compromise, do you do you understand my point? No, what I said to you, when you said the original word, you said the word settling. 
Okay, and are I you said, right? You are hundred percent right. But does that better change word my point though? Use compromise, because I said settling sounds like one person is just going along with it and not really happening, and they just do it just to do it. Okay, and that's so all I, I changed the word from settling to compromise. Now, do you agree with my point? Y'all, you're not okay. Yes, it's I not about not listening. listening. No, I agree to you. I agree with your point, point for the sake of argument. But you took away from example, the point because you're talking about this word that makes you. No, no. Feel what better. I'm saying is that your example did not match the words you actually said. Is what I'm I saying. I said when I'm sitting with you, I well, want to settle example, down. Why does the word matter if you understand the point? <laughs> Jamal, you're not even listening to what's being said you're right not now. For everything that's going on, you, you're you, not because the thing is this: what I said was. You're not listening. What I said you're was that a big your example, a small thing. Chad, if you see his overall point, what does it matter? When, when well, you well, made well. your example, you said we both decided, right? That sounds like a mutual agreement. So then we both are deciding we want to be together. When you use the word settling, that is not the same thing as us both deciding. It's in, like you equal, meaning one person's just doing it just because and the other person's getting the benefit out of it. That's what settling to me sounds like. To That's you, said, or it's what it is. Settling is that. That's what I said when I hear settling. That's what I hear. What compromise? That's what, see, that's the point. Word. It's what you hear. It's what makes you feel good instead of understanding. Look the up whole the point. word. It's not about me feeling good. I, All right, so I'm, I'm settling. I'm, 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 well, I'm gonna say if this. I ask you, if you said you wanted Doritos, right? They only had Lay's chips. All right, I guess I gotta settle. I, I'm settling for that. That ain't what I really wanted. You ain't really happy. You just that's doing the best it because. So is your man a 10 out of 10? No, he's not a 10 out of 10. Right, and I'm okay with that. So is, huh? he a seven out, is he a 7 out of 10? I would say he's a, a 7, 8, a, eight, a 8 out of 10, actually. Okay, so he's lazy. But there is a bag of chips that's t a 10 out of 10. Even though you didn't get the but Doritos, I don't, you but got I'm the okay with that. But I'm, okay, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. What but, I'm saying is that... Okay, I you're okay with settling with, settling with your because, 7 out of 10 when you can go pursue a 10 out of 10. That, that's, that's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. I'm yes, settling for the fact that I'm not going to get 10 things and I'm only getting 8 things. Okay. That is not the same thing as us deciding that we both want to leave all these people alone I said and we want to settle down with each other. I said that's to not you, the same thing. If I... See, you talking to five guys and I'm talking to five girls and I come to you and I say I want to settle down. I have to propose that to you for you to agree. We don't say one, two, three, let's settle down. It's never going to be mutual at the same time. So your point is not really is not really making sense. I see what you're, you're trying listening. to do. You're trying to be very analytical and anal, but it ain't working because my point is I to you. say I want to settle down. I just, and I, I did the thing is I didn't disagree. I said the word settle we going to settle down together. That's a mutual thing. So I agree with you. When you said the word, you originally said settling. You know, mm -hmm. it's a difference between someone settling down and you settling for it's something. Settling. So when I mm -hmm. said settle, that's two different words. Correct. Just like you said. But when we're talking about a root word, if we say inappropriate and appropriate, it's still a part of the same thing as whether it's not. It's the same thing. So I was trying to use that as more like a prefix or a suffix to what my point was. You took the whole thing and ran 40 miles this way. No, I didn't. I just asked you would a better word be compromised because you But to make you feel better, so ignoring the point. I'm asking a question because we're on a platform where other people may feel the same way. And all I said to you was, you used the word settling, but you were talking about you guys mutually agreed. You better never say a sentence on here and not use a period because I'm going to chop your whole sentence up because you didn't use a period. No, you're not. You're really not. You're not because you're not you're not even understanding what I'm saying. All I asked was would a better word to be used is compromise because you used the word settling, but you made it seem like y'all had a mutual agreement. No, That's you made it seem like we had a mutual agreement. You said it. You said we both decided we was gonna leave these people alone. Am I like what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Chad, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Chad, I guarantee you if you Chad, ask me Yes Chad. if you ask oh, me my point, I can tell you. Can you tell me my point? You, you may have to go back and watch it live again later. You let let him finish the statement. He still ain't got a chance to finish the statement because we're picking it apart before he can even say something. All I, I do is ask a question. So my apologies for asking a question to try and... Oh, you don't have to be facetious. You know what? I'm just saying... I'm not going... being facetious because I wasn't really trying to go there. All I asked said was the word that you used didn't match the example you gave. That's all I said. In your and, opinion or your thing. <laughs> want to hear what this man got to say. You can go back and listen to the live and see that it didn't match it, but it's okay. It's cool, but it's it's, it's not a, 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 a exam. It's okay. Wait, say what you got to say, man. You better stop it, dog. Whatever you want to say. Thing. I forgot. Exactly. <laughs> I forgot my whole point.
I forgot my whole point. Because my what I was trying to say was the whole purpose of this conversation was to basically figure out when was a good time to talk marriage. No, I don't think that was my point. You trying to bring it back around? Yeah, I'm trying to cut this man off. Hold on. Nobody off tonight. We ain't cut nobody off. Let this man finish his statement. That was just somebody just straight dipped into a statement and, and zapped it away when he trying to make a point. Like, we didn't do that with nobody. If Jabray wanted to talk, I, we sat back and listened. You said stuff. Go ahead, Chad. Go ahead, Chad. Go ahead, Chad. I appreciate this. this, this, this I appreciate, Maul, because you rocking for me. But I, at this point, I feel like this is a pity party. So I'm going to digress and say that <laughs> and regardless whether it's settled. No, don't let them steal your joy. No, listen, listen. That's what you had to say, player. Listen, that guess what? Wrong. Guess what? Something that somebody loves to do for free, when it becomes work, it doesn't become fun anymore. So whether you're settling down, you settled down, you're going to settle, we all settle at some point. Whether it just doesn't have a bad connotation with it. When you when a one person here settle, they say, oh, no, I ain't settling for nothing. We all do. We all do. Your bank account is $500. This week, you decided to settle that that was enough. Regardless if you want to take that and, and make it something else, but it is what it is, right? So whether we settling down or we had a mutual understanding that I decided to pick you and you, I, I'm deciding to settle down with you and you're deciding to settle down with me. Now, no, I'm going to change all of those words from settle down to compromise. We're going to compromise Back down, to and I'm going to compromise yeah. down so that, that we can make make no sense. But do you see how I say we're going to compromise down, how it doesn't, it's not equivalent? I just, I, no, that's what I said. I'm, okay. You're not even, I said to you that you said your everything. Word, you did not say the word settled when you originally said it. You said settling. Okay. That's why I said, should the word compromise be a better word? Oh. Now, if you would have just said settled, oh. Okay. That would have been different. That was the point I was trying to make, but you didn't listen. And oh, so I'll never okay. freaking listen. I get it. And I said that like that was And I'm surprised, point. Chad, because you're always listening. I, I I get what you're saying. But it wasn't about me listening. It was about me trying to get to my point, but not introduce or entertain the ling. If I say we I settled down, and I'm pretty sure whether I said settling by accident or on purpose, after that I've said settled <laughs> to to gotta get back to my point, and then we go back to this. To make you feel better, so settle. I don't right. feel better because, like I just all I said was that I agree with the word "sudden," settle, like settle. Right, we got you. We get it. Settle. Yes, y'all both decide to settle down with each other. But when you're saying to someone you're settling, you're make it almost like like you said. You asked me my husband was a ten out of ten. I said no, he's eight out of ten. So does that mean I was settling for the two that I don't get? Yeah, but it depends on what those two were. Was it something that? But that's my point. I, that my point. We all settled. This? That's all I'm no. saying. I'm sure he settled too. And I agree. Dollars. We all do. We all do settle. Okay, so we good there. We good there. We good there. We good there. But the, but the original uh, uh, the uh, uh, the example you gave wasn't that. That's why I said that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> Bottom line, this you need to so, talk to these was, people from the job. This was a really, really good tip. Y'all need really to have this conversation good. early on so um, you don't have no confusion. Can go on and on and on and on, but um, I feel like at the end of the day, there is no time frame to have a conversation about marriage because that's what this topic was about, people. <laughs> Anybody that's joining now. <laughs> but um, I feel that way because me and Jamal's situation, we ain't had no time frame. We got married fast. And hey, Maul, you need a new, I'm sorry, Maul, you need a new gym to go to? A new gym? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I need, I need a gym I can go Leave to. Leave gym right I feel comfortable alone. as a man, you know yes. what I mean? Because <laughs> she, she don't even be there. Right now. how I feel from our perspective. So, yes, you know what I mean? If you have any recommendations, please let me know. We got uh, gym mice, hey, we got gym ropes. Uh -huh. He's lying. Lying, I will be in lying. in the morning. She don't even be there he on time. Be there in the morning. No, he don't. Hey, be listen. There on time. I think. Listen. I want to say. I, I. I. First of all, I have the utmost respect for everybody that's on this live. You know what I mean? Your your your, uh, your intellect, your perspectives. You know what I mean? All that other stuff. You know what I mean? This is very healthy for us to have more dialogue about black relationships because this is something that is breaking down our communities. At the end of the day. However we got to get to it, if we got to rumble verbally, if we got to correct somebody between settle and settling, you know what I mean? We got to do what we got to do to have this communication because ultimately we set the foundation for what the standard is in our communities, us.
because we are the adults. We are the, at this point, we're the mentors, we're the leaders in our communities. So we have to come to an understanding so we can set the tone for the next generation because somewhere along the line, we, 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 we miss <laughs> you know something. You know what I mean? Somewhere along the line, we miss something as a community and we got to have this type of conversation. My, 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 my last thought in terms of time frame of speaking marriage, I personally think it's very important for two people that are getting in a relationship to speak about personal growth before they even get to the topic of marriage. You know what I mean? So I don't think that it would, it's, it's a bad thing if you don't even discuss marriage within at least the first year until you get to know a little bit about the person that's even in front of you. You might be trying to marry a that's psychopath. The person that got married you to know it. And then you need to find out yourself because you might be a psychopath and might not know it. So I think personal growth and, and development is. when we talk about marriage is important. Uh, Jabray or Chad, y'all final, y'all final <laughs> thought? I I'm agree a- with you 100%. I feel like I don't think it's wrong with having a conversation about what you're, what you actually ultimately want out of life. That don't mean I want to do it with you, but if someone asks me, do you want to get married and have kids one day? I don't think that needs the way to gear, but I do agree that you need to have self, that self evaluation, self healing should happen before you even decide to date. And if you want, and if you're only trying to, if you want to go out here and wham, bam, thank you, man, have, you know, friends with Benny's, that's fine. Still heal yourself while you're doing that. While you ain't making no real connections until you're ready to make that connection. Shit. You telling people to go out here and wham, bam, until they... They doing it anyway. I said, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> until they get themselves together and then be a baby mom that you don't... No, I said, right. no, I didn't right. say unprotectedly. Be an adult Shit. and be grown. Shit. Unprotectedly, Shit. is that a word? Unprotected, not unprotectedly. It's unprotectedly Whatever. a word. Unprotected. I, I stand corrected because I don't have a problem being standing yeah. corrected. I said yeah. you're out there. You being you're grown. You want to go out here and have friends with Bennies? Just don't make no Ignore real connection. <laughs> don't try to get all deep with somebody Ignore when you him. still need to heal. Or just be be to yourself Ignore and get him. healed. Chad, what do you have to say, Chad? What do you have to say? He's just mad because I said something about his words. Settled. No, I just feel like we were getting somewhere <laughs> and you got me off say, my train Chad? of thought to try to. Oh, I did because I said and whatever. Anyway, have, um, before I was really interrupted again said. by somebody who said everything that I said before I said, yeah. um, get to the point. Um, I'm going to get to the point. When is a good time, friend, to talk marriage? I think that you got to understand what life is for you. Um, I think too many of us are going by status quo of what the world wants or what our girlfriend has or our friends have. And we really don't really identify with what we want and what we desire in life. So I think it's pretty good to talk about marriage early when you're dating to see or to have an idea of where that person is because some of us don't want to be at a place in our life where we want to waste time. So if you've been in a lot of relationships and at this present time you want to focus on marriage, don't try to um, suppress how you feel to learn somebody and then expect them to be on what you want. So from the beginning, I think that you got to be clear with your intentions of what you want. And I think that that's mm-hmm. healthy, communicative, or communicative, I'm understanding, I'm asking Webster over there if that was all right. Uh, I think we got to communicate. <laughs> I ain't going to interject. That's <laughs> Cousin, shh, don't say nothing, cousin. Because I, I just wanted to know if this was an interrogative or exclamatory sentence that I was trying to say. <laughs> Whatever. Because, you know, sometimes you got to understand okay. the predicate or the verb. But no, I just think that ultimately before you even ask about marriage, I think you got to figure out why is it important to you. Um, and what it is about marriage that you want or desire and figure out if that's what you want. Because sometimes we ask for things, get into these things and realize it's not what we I'm coming, want. I'm coming, I'm coming. So I just feel like we just got to focus on what we want and it's never a wrong time to ask, to talk about marriage. Good stuff. I agree. Good stuff. All right, All right so I, I totally appreciate everybody coming on tonight. If you missed this live, please tune in on our YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. We come on every Wednesday at 8 p.m., um, I hope your phone died real quick yeah. and erase this, June. <laughs> <laughs> he back because he don't want to look back. No, at because I got like it. even if I, okay, so even don't if I did make like a mistake it. to her, to Dad, her, you're supposed to be my friend. No, I, I, I love you to death. You squat for real. Like I see like, somebody Dad, trying to really? jump you, I'm gonna call more. That's what I'm gonna do. But I just feel like <laughs> she's gonna go onto this live and find the exact part. <laughs> Screen recorded. <laughs> the, 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 the four please, seconds. Can you please do that? Four seconds. 
and then say something. Like, I don't, you I don't really send him like... the 20 minutes he was listening. Don't be like that, Chad. No, it definitely <laughs> wasn't like 20 minutes. You're going to find that four I'm, I'm just messing sure, with I'm you. I'm going to make sure when I do the snippet, I'm going to put that exact word that you said so everybody can see that you said it. Yes. But anyway, y'all say no, Chad. I love you, Chad. You're my dog. Mm -hmm. But I do love appreciate everybody coming on tonight. This was a great topic. Again, if you missed this live and you just tuning in, the link is in my bio. And we will be back with a new topic next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Why do women want to have the last word? That's the problem. When women want to have the last word, this is why we get into this. You know what I'm saying? That's right, Chad. Yeah. 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 I'm fighting back. I say, then, Sheree, then it's I say, ego, ego is the big problem. Yeah. Ego is the yes, enemy. Is. <laughs> That's a great book by Ryan Holiday. You should read it. I read it. I will. You said by Ryan Holiday? Yes, I'll look it up. Yeah, you should. And if you see any words with errors, make sure you highlight and send it to him. First of all, I was <laughs> saying it was an error. He, I, you know he bad. He's salty. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, I love you, brother, I and I don't even know you. And you know, at this point, I'm just about to take all this medicine right now. It's over. Because you got you stressed out. Get, 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 get some rest, cousin. Get some rest for that baby. You guys, don't let him. Mm -hmm. I know. Next week, I'm being. I can't join live. I'm being in the hospital. Probably. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the perfect. Oh, you, I'm sorry that you gotta be in the hospital, but that's the per perfect time. First to of all, perfect nothing. I will join in and say, "Have a baby next to me, like hey. <laughs> that." Night, night. night. Y'all, seriously, y'all. All, all right, see y'all. I appreciate everybody. Uh, no, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. What would you do if your son was at home crying all alone on the bedroom floor because he's hungry? <laughs> so I'm going to go downstairs and get some cereal. What's his problem? What's his problem? Go downstairs with some cereal. <laughs> <It was laughs>